Hello, sumo fans. Welcome back. It's March. We made it through. February felt like two months. It did. Year. It really felt like, oh my goodness, we haven't seen sumo in forever, and we even did an extra show. We did, yeah. We did the we did our inaugural inter opinion show. <laughs> yeah, however you want to call it. it. Yeah, and even so, it seems like it took forever to get here, so we are very pumped. I want you all to just savor the screen <laughs> as we see this beautiful picture of Takakesho under the cherry blossoms as I show my bias right out in the open. I have to savor this in case this is the last time I see it for a while. I hope not, knocking on all knocking kinds on, of wood. Knocking on all the woods within knuckle oh, range. Oh, there's like three different types of wood. I think we're good now. <laughs> But now we can move on. All righty. So, as usual, we'll start up at the top with our only Yokozuna, Terano Fuji. Did not compete in the last tournament. Got the knee surgery. So, the question is, is he ready to come back? Maybe. So, he, it was November he had the surgery. Or, no, wait. November he came. He was... November he... Ducked out or... He ducked out and had the surgery during November, wasn't it? I think so. And then, because I remember when we were talking in November, we were like, he's probably not going to be in January. Right. And then January, he's obviously not there. So, like, this is the first tournament that we can reasonably speculate about it. Expect him back. But there's definitely precedent for him to say, I need another two months. What I've seen in the, you know, interneting YouTube channels, at least as of a couple weeks ago, is he was just chest lending. But that doesn't mean anybody knows anything. That's yeah. just all I heard. But for that brief moment, I thought, I don't know if he's going to come back. It's, it's, it's a question mark until we get closer. Yeah. And I know now that they're going to Osaka for March, there will be the movement of camps. Right. And I feel as the news starts covering, ooh, this guy's here. Ooh, this guy came in on the train. That's when we're going to start to hear about Taran Fuji's status because he'll Right. If he doesn't show up on a train somewhere, it's already done. That may be us with the knowledge. But if he does show up, I feel like he has his work cut out for him because this this bloated Sanyaku thing has been going on for quite some time. And a reliable way to squish that out is to have a Yokozuna just thrash the entire group. It's true. They, we really haven't had um, our big top guy put people through the gauntlet yep. in a while. Yeah. At worth yeah, worth noting is a lot. A lot of the people there in Sanyaku have eight and sevens. Right. And I'm, had the Yokozuna been around, we're not even having yep, this discussion. Yep. Yep. Kota Nowaka, Hoshiryu, Tobizaru, all of them seven and eight. Now, with that said, Terano Fuji, this is a lot of pressure on him because yes. if the surgery doesn't work, or if it's just too soon, and either he injures himself or he doesn't do a good enough showing, his career's on the line. So for him, there's no reason to take the risk. There's no no reason. I would agree. But so I would suspect he's not coming back. But you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if he had some reason. We feel. I feel like at this point, it's anyone knows. Um, if we were in Japan, maybe we'd have the inside track. But yeah, we are looking at those uh, tabloids and stuff. Yeah, we'd be dig- we'd be digging up the the rags. With that being said, I actually bought a sumo magazine on eBay. Oh. So even though I can't read it. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out. Well, if you if you if you Google Translate all of it, you can I, work but, your way through it. Between that and just getting out the uh, the the kanji, I'll have trouble with. But if you get out your tables, your hiragana and your katakana tables, you can actually, you know, work your way through some of the words. But at the very least, there are some cool pictures of Takekeisho's win. So that's why nice. I bought it. Okay. <laughs> I'm so lame. Anyway, <laughs> so let's go to Takekeisho who maintains his Ozeki 1 West rank, 12-3. and three. As we all know, won the tournament because I won't stop talking about it. <laughs> but now comes the real test. All the pre- He didn't have the pressure last tournament. Even though there was an outside chance that they would have promoted him because of the Yusho equivalent, this is where the pressure really is. Now it's go time. If he wins... I can't see how they would deny him Yokozuna unless it's something crazy like 11 and 4 and he barely squeaks it out or something like that. So now it's it's all or nothing. He gets one more shot 
because really it's hard to start over again. This is his best shot to become Yokozuna if it's going to happen. So all the pressure will be on him. I don't know if all the focus will be on him, though, because honestly, people are not looking at Taka Keisho. He is constantly, it's like, oh, I can't wait for Asano Yama to come back. Oh, you know, what's Hoshiro you going to do? Oh, you know, people have kind of written him off. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for his chances. He has been showing up on Sumo Primetime. Which... Which is fun. Yeah, I really enjoyed that, like, being at his stable thing. But Taki has got a bit of a Daisho thing. You know, he's a man of very few words. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He doesn't have the uh, charisma of some of these Mongolians, I'll say. But I enjoyed it nonetheless. Yeah, I felt like he, whenever he was talking, like, it was meaningful. Yeah, so you could see him as sort of a philosophical guy, but not necessarily charismatic. So, like, if you're really paying attention, you'll get some, some deep insight but you're like hanging on, waiting for more. And it's like, oh, no, he's done talking. He's, done talking. <laughs> he's like, yeah, let's just train. He's like looking at Hiro when he's doing the moves. He's like, no, do it again. Just do it yeah. again. So um, it's going to be interesting. I'm definitely going to say off the bat, I'm not picking him at the end because I'm going to keep my uh, my streak going of not picking Takikesho to win so as to not jinx him. I really don't know, though. We're really going to have to see the first couple of days. I don't think anyone knows. I yeah, don't think it's he knows. so up in the air. It's it's such a reset, you know, it's, every yeah. tournament. It, feel, it feels like, I guess it's it's like you said, like this time it's like he gets it, it's it's in the bag, even with a 12-3 and three victory. Like it's still back-to-back -back cups. They have to give it to him at this point. Right. Like beforehand, it was the, it was contested. Maybe we'll give it to you if we want to. But now it's sort of like, well, what are you going to do? If he does it, he does it. He does it, he does it. Give him the rope. And so there's a, there is a finality to it. And it's going to make all of this upper crust very interesting. It's going to, I mean, not that you need an open spot for Ozeki, but it's going to, it's going to open it up for, okay, we have no Ozekis. It's going to sort of light a fire. But here's the other interesting thing. With Asanoyama probably coming up the very next tournament, and we know Asanoyama, you know, he's he's gunning for a return to Ozeki and higher. And some of these young guys coming up, particularly I thought about Hokuseiho being a very big challenge for Taiki Keisho. We'll see. He's green, but there's some things, and I'll get into that when we get to him. This it, He really needs to do it now if he's going to do it. I don't think he has the the luxury of time like a lot of people are like oh he you know either he's not yokozuna material so he should just give up which is a foolish thing to say it's like he's made it this far he's going to do it or he's not or the other is well he needs more time no time's running out he's learning he's running low and considering how long it took him to get his other two yokozuna runs going uh, there's a get it get it when you can yeah get it while you can get it in the gap and you know what if people talk crap about you for the rest of your life you aren't as great blah blah who cares who cares just get it he's still he's still probably the best ozeki in five years exactly the ozekis have been pretty shoddy for a while now you can say whatever you want about the yokozuna but the ozekis have not shown up yeah. he Sp has specifically so. in the last five years like yeah yeah pre yeah. Pre, pre like 2018 2017 goedo and takiyasu they're fine they're right. fine once you cross over that line let's right so it's all up to Taki Keisho. I hope he does it, but if he doesn't, he doesn't. So next we have who was the next great hope. Who knows? Wakataka Kage maintains his rank of Sekiwaki 1 East, 9 and 6. The stagnation is he heavy is, on this one. He is the car wheels spinning in the mud, can't get up the hill, <laughs> um, tried to go out on the road before the snow plows came. That is where he is right now. He needs a fire. But like beforehand, it was the nerves. Then it was like injury and bad luck. And now it's, there's no, you can't point at something and say, oh, if that wasn't there, he'd be fine. It's now it's like, okay, you're, uh, you're stuck there. Yeah. Somebody go out there and, and, and push him out of the ditch yeah. or something. Well, towards that end, might I direct your attention to two ranks below to his brother, who is also looking pretty good for himself. I feel like these two guys mm -hmm. can feed off each other. Yeah, you you got to imagine 
two sumo brothers growing up just competing, competing, competing. And it can be a friendly thing. I'm not necessarily yeah, suggesting well. that. But with his brother matching him pace for pace, I really don't think Wakataka Kage wants him to yeah. leapfrog here's, over well, him. Well, here's what's interesting about this. Um, both of them right now have the same Ozeki record. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. So... We joke about Wakamoto Haru jumping over him, but that is a very realistic possibility. If Wakataka Kage gets another nine and six and eight and seven, and Wakamoto Haru gets a ten and five, he has officially surpassed him, not in rank, but in application. Right. For the Ozeki rank. Jeez. Well, you know, he is the older brother, and that's how it's supposed mm, to work. Yeah, so it's there's some there could be some, you know, some like there's some like you said like some of it could be the alliance some of it could be the rivalry some mm-hmm. of it you know Waka- he needs a little fire there you know there could be like you know wakataka kage loses a match wakamoto maro w- wins his and on the drive back to osaka like he looks over and he's like how was that match today you know <laughs> what i mean <laughs> yeah. we've all and anybody who has siblings knows exactly what i'm talking about oh yeah well it, the interesting thing is the stage is set where we could have a brother versus brother match in a we playoff could, we're final still, it's it could happen it it is it is increasingly possible you know perhaps i've even predicted it by saying it <laughs> would now <laughs> oh that would be too I much i love it three-way playoff wakataka kage wakamono haru taki keisho Woo. that would be a wild osaka all right <laughs> yeah what it, this is the stormy basho after all expect something insane right expect wild crowds not the uh covid yes. The full crowd are coming is... out. The full crowd. Uh, expect a lot of vocalization for the locals. There'll be some yeah. really. It's going to be a fun return to the ways of old yes. as well. Three years in the making. So let's see what happens. I mean, like Taki Keisho, you just shrug your shoulders and say, "Yeah, well, I, see where, what you got. for Taki Keisho, it is sort of a like you. It, it's that." You've like you've built you've built the the race car, and you're like this thing can get there, but there's only one way to know, and that's just you let it run. But you look at Wakataka Kage, and you're like, mm, he's like kind of in the back uh, doing something weird. You know, you just you're just like I feel like maybe we need to we need to go look under the hood really quick. Yeah, somebody like get the yeah. wrench out. Yeah, but for both of them, it is just we're we're not gonna know, we're not gonna know until they're until their knuckles are on the starting line. Mm-hmm. So, good luck, Wakataka Kage. Next, we have a man who's has the complete opposite problem. That'd be Hoshiryu. Maintains the same rank as well, eight and seven. So, this man has no lack of fireness, desire, ambition, and the ability to do it, but now he's fighting injuries. He is. He the that sprained ankle. So he was able to come back and fight, but he clearly wasn't at a hundred percent. And it it almost cost him the rank. Like he would have still been in Sanyaku, but But he wouldn't have a Sekiwake yeah. rank. So Ozeki runs as good as dead. Uh here's the problem for people who are fighting Hoshoryu. He had that name in the Yusho contention race mm-hmm. at that level of competition. Like anytime you give Hoshiryu anything, he just eats it. Right, he it's, eats it. It's fuel. It's fuel for him. So there's barring an injury, but again, like the fact that he came back like two days later. Yeah, and he was in that one day tournament. Was that an NHK tournament? I I can't remember or Fuji T Fuji TV tournament. There was a one day tournament that they do. They were doing it before COVID. I don't know if it got suspended, but they did do it again in February. And Hoshiryu was in it, and he was. You know, he was competing toward, you know, till the end. And his ankle didn't look perfect to me, honestly. But the fact that he competed in the tournament means that... He's fighting fit. Right. And he's a young guy. When yes. you're a young guy like Hoshuri, you can fight with a busted ankle. When you're, you know, Tamawashi... Well, maybe not Tamawashi. Let's pick somebody else. <laughs> Ryuden. Ryuden. If you're Ryuden, you know, you're not going to have such a great tournament. But yeah, I mean, maybe the sprained ankle, maybe the pain makes Hoshuri even stronger. He's like a super <sighs> saiyan or angry. something. He's like, I have pain. Yes, let's fight. Yeah. So no, no more Ozeki run. That uh, that eleven wins in the bin. So in, in a way, there's there's a lot of like resets on those runs going on. Yes, everybody's. This is almost like the New Year's tournament now. 
It was supposed to be January, but it's really it's really March. Everybody's got to start over and just pretend like yeah. January didn't happen. Yeah, most of the people have lost their momentum. A couple people still have it, but we'll get to them. Yes. Like uh, our next guy, Kitty Bayama, he is somebody with the momentum still going. 11 and 4. Um, he gets a Sekiwaki slot, the second Sekiwaki slot. So yeah. we didn't go completely crazy and uh, remove all the second spots. He did He did great yeah, enough did. where they're like, okay, you, you earned it. And it's kind of funny when you look at it because those are the three guys we've been talking about and they're all Sekiwaki now. Mm-hmm. Just sort of like pounding at the ceiling like, trying let to, me in, let to me get in. Up. So with his 11 wins, Kirabayama actually has the the best crack at Odonozeki run. I believe he was 8-7 and seven in November, so he's going to start with that 11 wins. Yeah, He the gets beginning. double digits. We talk about him as an Ozeki contender in May. Which I would not have called this. Is this, this, is, this is a weird outside track kind of a thing. Well, it's interesting because it's just like Wakamoto Haru. You blink, and all of a sudden, here he is. Kiribayama was talked about, of course, but it was Wakataka Kage and Hoshoryu that everyone was paying attention to, and here comes Kiribayama being trained by, you know... Yep, his, yeah, the, the incremental games finally hit the point where he is just on a different level, and yeah, if he got that 11-4 and four in Kamasubi... Like, there's no asterisk on that. That is that is solid sumo. And again, like it, do it again in May. Do it again in March. Do something good in May. And I feel like the desperation, for lack of a better word, for them to get more people up top could do some you show equivalent mm. air quotes. I think I think if it's like I think if it's like eleven, ten, and twelve, maybe not. But what well, I. Um, again, we look at this top. It's Terano Fuji and it's Takakesho, and that's yeah. They need they need some help. They need some help. You know. And now it's there is an interesting. Well, you had Shodai and Takayumi over there, and they were sort of let in, and then they just uh, they just didn't. Uh, that being said, you know, yeah, you, you need bodies. You do, and whether you want it to be that way or not, you really do need to make it look healthy. Yeah. Doesn't look too healthy right now. And well, Kirbayama does have the consistency that he does. And actually, I watched an interview with Kakuryu, and he basically said, you know, Kiribayama looks really good, but he needs to put on more weight. He's like the big issue for him is that he gets pushed around too much. It's not his sumo skill. It's that once you get up to this level, you really need, and it doesn't necessarily have to be just like bulk. It it could be muscle. You know, it doesn't have to be like you know get really 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 fat but if you're a small guy and you're going up against Terano Fuji if he gets certain positions on you no matter what no matter no what tricks out. you have you're done you're Enho fighting Tochi Noshin so that's uh, Kakadu's assessment and you know Kakadu he's watching Hakuho raise up this talent he's he, that competitive spirits there There's too there too yeah he's putting everything he's got into Kiribayama and that matters so yeah, this is this is his chance to break away from the pack. Yeah, and you know, it's hard because you know you don't want to pick anybody over anybody, but the guy who's got the best shot, I'm rooting for him. I want to see the next Ozeki, and I want to see one who can actually do it, do the job. So I hope Kitty Bayama keeps it going. That we're finally seeing the real him, you know. So we alluded to this man already with Wakamoto Haru being the uh, the fire for his brother. He is up just a little bit of a notch. Komusubi 1 East up from Komusubi 2 West, 9 and 6. As you said, he is now on equal footing with his brother in terms of who can do an Ozeki run. Mm-hmm. This came out of nowhere. And maybe it's because he has a quiet way of doing things and not because he wasn't doing things. When he, when he made his rise... It did feel like okay. Where's your ceiling? Where's your ceiling? Where's your ceiling? He did. He did get a Makakoshi knockdown, but then he just kept going back up. He just. He just recovered from the shortcomings and is just keep it going up. So like we're like I don't know where his ceiling is anymore. Right. And then you're like, and then here he is. Here he is in Sanyaku with his brother. They have identical nine and sixes in January, in comparable ranks. Yeah. He's Wakamoto Haro has made it. He's in the top tier, just like his brother. Yep. And c- could just 
leave him in the dust at the way things are going. And anything is possible in terms of, you know, he could win a title. He could? Yeah. I mean, any one of these guys, you know, we're always waiting for, like, the good tournament, but there's also the bad tournament. So Wakamoto Haru could take advantage of somebody's bad tournament, and the next thing you know... We have another first-time champion. That seems to be the theme these days. So Stormy Basho. Stormy Basho. Stormy Basho. So uh, very much looking forward to seeing what he's going to do in this tournament. And, you know, who knows? Playoff. Ooh. I'm still I'm, – I'm not going to hedge bets, but I really want that. Yeah. I really – it feel it feels as close as it's ever been. Like beforehand, it would have been a total fluke. It would have been a – you know, Wakamoto Haro has a crazy good tournament, like a dark horse kind of a and, and, Sada no Umi out of nowhere kind of a deal. And then Wakataka Kage is on fire. And like, but now it's sort of like, well, they both can just. Right. They're you can both. Just do it. Right. What's the biggest difference between Sekiwake and Komasubi? And it's just really? a couple of wins. That's it. So next we have Kotano Waka maintains his Komasubi 1 West rank. So more maintaining. Eight and seven. I actually think I actually thought during the tournament that he wasn't going to be able to do it. Like his he was first, looking real shaky. His first week was rough. Yeah, it, real rough. Could be the nerves. Could be just the competition. Maybe he needed time to warm up. The Sanyaku curse. Yep. Both him and um, him and Wakamoto Haru beat the curse. So we're, that's so, actually a good trend that we're seeing. Yeah. There. So that's that's a good show. I feel like once Kotonowaka settles in to Sanyaku, this is sort of the what was going on with Kiribayama, that like when Kiribayama was like he was like the top, he was he was Megashiro one two, and we're like oh he's working on it. he's not quite ready for Sanyaku. Touch Sanyaku fell down. Touch Sanyaku fell down. Then Kiribayama were like he's stuck in Kamasubi for a little bit. You're like okay now he's got his footing right, and now look at him now he's now he's making now he's making ground now he's starting his bid. So Kotonowaka I feel is going to be it's a similar. It's just like the eight and seven, like he held, right? Like you focus on the hold, you focus on you know getting a good getting a good grip on the cliff face, mm-hmm. and then you start to climb, right? And just hope that you're you get enough rest that your energy takes yes. you up, and so that's where Kotonowak is right now. He's in the hold, yep, and he just needs to transition. And so, will he be able to transition in March? He seems like the type of wrestler once he really gets it that he is gonna be a top guy. He, you're just waiting and waiting for the moment where it's like, there he is. I really wish we had watched Sumo before this tumultuous time to see if there were any other guys that like were inconsistent and suddenly found their footing because I feel like we're in a time where there is so much inconsistency. You wonder if anybody can overcome it to become consistent or if this is just like, this is the batch. This generation got screwed. You it's, know? The, well, it's the weird... We don't have a real dynasty anymore. Right. And there's been a lot of reasons for that between, you know, just sumo declining in numbers in terms of people signing up, the COVID stuff, the weird, you know, the training got all screwed up because of that. That's like the bigger issue. And so now you have this sort of like destabilization of this is the training methods. So it's like, is it too late for all these guys or can they just right the ship now that we're going back to normal? That's So... There's two there's two takes on this. One, some people are some people are riding the ship. This is also some people are just getting shaken out. Mm, right. Uh, two. If we're thinking that this generation is a bust, well I've got good news for you because the next generation oh, is already here. They're already here. That was they're quick. They're already here. The next wave of the young whippersnappers are already kicking down the doors of the bottom of this. So very very quickly. Give them give them Four to six months, and then we're gonna find out how many of these people here have got what it takes, and how many of them are squatters. This is a fair point because part of the reason they've been able to be so inconsistent and you know mediocre in results is because they didn't have any real challenges because of what's going on at the top. Mm-hmm. But if these lower guys come in, these guys have got to fight for their life. Yeah, this is so. I was for a while fixating, and still I am to an extent, on how the Sanyaku sort of. Because it, it's always like whenever it goes higher than four, like it always corrects itself. But this time it's not been correcting itself. This is like the third time that runs seven. And then the 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 the, uh, the rankings committee keep just allowing it to blow it out, blow it out. And I'm looking at them, it's like this Sanyaku is a mess. It's like it's not the Sanyaku that it's a mess. 
it's the ranks higher. It's yes. nobody can be here. And this goes yes. into what we were talking about, but there's no solid presence. There's no, no, you know, there's no, there's no four Yokozuna to top. There's right. no like league of Ozeki's just bashing down on everybody. Right. right where you're like, I got to beat him. I got to beat him. It's like, you have to beat yourself. You have to beat yourself. And so this, a result is you have yeah. seven people who are good, but not good enough yep. to be at the absolute pinnacle of professional sumo. Right. They're, they're again, like this is, He's this is number three in the world. Exactly. And this guy does not have the ability to get his stuff together for three tournaments in a row. So just a quick note, because it kind of connected to this. I watched a little bit of U.S. Sumo. They have tournaments once a year. Yes. Wow. It just shows you how good these guys are. Oh, goodness. Yeah. In particular, it's the footwork and the steadiness. Like, so you're watching U.S. Sumo and like they're choke slamming these guys. Or they're they're flying out and their legs are flailing. You would never see that in Japanese sumo because no one would let you throw them no, like that. No, yeah, they're the, just they're just too stable. Yeah. So it's like these guys look like you know big sumo guys, and it's like, but they're so easy to push over. So it's like it just kind of puts in a perspective how good the upper echelon of sumo in Japan really is. But on the flip side, it is good to see that there's a U.S. Open of sumo. It's, yes, it's in California, I think. Which it's is in the California. West, it's, it's the west side of America. Right, it's like as close to Japan yeah. that you're going to get yeah. in America, and, so and makes sense. Yeah, it happens every year. There's a YouTube channel that has that gets together all the bouts. I think it, it's it would be a. There was something like that, maybe in the city, but it was a while ago. Yeah, New York City sometimes has some things, but um, you know, it's all about wherever the Japanese culture mm-hmm. is, and really where you have it in America is in California. And they had people from all over the world there. There was New Zealanders and things like that. Um, but yeah, I, when I'm watching it, I'm like, this is very really exciting. However, you would never see this happen in can, Japanese sumo. It contextualizes. Again, like it is easy once, one, you know, we're, we're ragging on these people for a solid five, ten minutes. Yeah, because like, we're jerks. Because we're you know? jerks. <laughs> we're sitting here comfortable, never worn them a washing a day in our lives. And we would get just like flicked by them, like <laughs> flicking us with their finger. We'd fly across uh, the room. Yeah, but it is it is worth noting, just as a, as, a, as a walking it back, that these people are the best of the best. There's, yes. There are 500-something people in professional sumo, and these people are top 42. These are the people who have clawed their way up. and Our comments are only in comparing in com- to themselves, yes. either their best selves and others in their rank. That being said, get your stuff together, guys. Come on, man. Come on. We are the fans. We demand like, it. What? We, we, we deserve it. I think we need another Ozeki, someone who really owns it. And someone who's really going to like. Really going to get it. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Come on, guys. All right. We're done. We're done now. <laughs> we're going to move on. And- Sorry, Kota Nawaka. We yeah. did that all to you. Yeah, we got a ramble on him. <laughs> so now he'll do fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I think he is the next. He has potential to be the next great guy if he can just get the consistency down. So next we have Daisho Komusubi two east up from Maegashir one west, ten and five returns to Sanyaku. It's happened enough now that I think we can say that Daisho is a Sanyaku He's, wrestler. He, he is shaking off the dark horse moniker. Yeah, but, we can and, no longer say yeah, that about him. It's it's his. Uh, I, I I always call it the Yusho Daisho when he really gets his when it really connects and yes. he had ten and five. He got a lot of that. It was like it was it was those little things, and the only concern is that like the little like the little things on footwork. Everyone's watching like they they know like I can do this and I'll parry. Him. They I can do, do this. It's that Achilles heel. It's almost like him. he can't resist doing the thing, uh, and like just I just gotta push a little harder, and then they get him on the they end. Get, they the, just the, do the little ballerina the, the little, thing. The little the little photo finish stuff. If if he can find a way to get those. Then he's fighting Takakesho in the playoff. I think what Daisho really needs, I mean, obviously the footwork is is the issue in a way, but I think he just needs to, I don't want to say bulk up, but get a little bit stronger. Because look at Takakesho. Takakesho knows that, and now it's changed a little bit recently, but he knows that if he doesn't get you out in three pushes, he's going to have a really hard time. Mm. Daisho doesn't have that much power. It seems still, like he should. He he. His tachi will still knock people in the orbit. It's, it will. It is, it is a, and this is towards what you said. It is like it's the gambit on the tachi eye. Is that right? Can he can he knock you so far that he only needs another push or two to get you out? It's some, yeah, it's something on the tachi eye where he's not generating as much force as I think he could, 
And I don't know if it's because he's not as strong as Tagikesho or if he's, it could be the footwork there too. There's there's just something little, going on where a little bit. if he just had a little bit more a power. A little bit. Because he's taller than, he has a better body work. Mm-hmm. He's a better body for doing this pusher thruster thing. I feel like if he was as strong or at least as good at outputting power as Takakesho, he'd be so dominant. You know, and, and then he wouldn't have to worry about those on the edge losses that yeah, he always it, has. Well, it, it is it, it does tell you it's it's that little itty bitty thing. Mm-hmm. Whenever you have these these photo finish losses, these photo finish even when you have those photo finish wins. Yeah. Like you got the you got the score, but you know like it could have gone the other way. Like when you're on that knife's edge, it's just that little bit more. It's that little something. The power, the footwork. I think he was one of the people who randomly grabbed a belt and threw us off in January. Yes. There was a few people. A lot of pusher thrusters were just like, oh, yeah, Mawashi. He also won the Fuji TV tournament. Ooh. So that tells you something right there. I'm just so. I, I, and there's a big cash prize for winning that. So it isn't just for prize or for pride. You're getting money you're getting, out of the deal. Getting paid. So you have incentive to win this tournament. And Daisha won. So. Either that's a sign of Daisho's extra hunger, or it's just everything clicked. We should we should look up performances of Fuji TV tournament winners. Yeah, and see when what they fight in March, and see what happens. See if we can find a trend. Yeah, I think we can find that information. Mm-hmm. Put, we'll put that in there, and perhaps Ex- put- it'll come up in the live streams that happen in week two on this <laughs> channel. I'll be bringing it up. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. That could be the X factor for him. We talk about we need that little bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe that a little extra cash maybe, in his pocket. Well, yeah, <laughs> that, that'll, that'll add an extra pound or two in your push when you're just carrying all that weight from the money you won. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but da- okay, Daya Show. You know, I was gonna... I'm gonna write mind. him off, but I mean... Well, well no, no, I don't... I don't write no, off you Daya don't show. write I off Daya Show. No, you, 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 writing off Daya Show is step one to failure. That's right. You, you, you respect his power, and then you can beat him. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of uh, craziness, because we're talking about Stormy Basho's, Toby Zaru, Komisubi 2 West, up from Mike Sure 1 East, 8 and 7. So we all know he's had some favorable luck with the Bonza It keeps coming. It's, it's interesting. It's like, who do you know? But with that said, he's returning to Sanyaku. He's he's making it known that he is of Sanyaku that, caliber. That second time back is usually when you can start making headway. Yes. Um, and and he is, has the ability, I think. He was eight and seven and they gave it to him. I I yeah. thought, I thought it, th- this surprised me because I could see them. I can see them making it six people up top. Mm-hmm. And then you have like, and then you'd have. You know, four Sekiwake and two Kamasubi, or three and three. Mm-hmm. But they uh, they gave it to him. They they well, they see something in they, him, well, or I, there's a favorable thing. Who in knows? fairness, I think we all see what we like in Toby Zaro, and that he's a oh. fun person. Oh yeah, and he like he has been seriousing up. He's been doing some good sumo, and he did get the like he he did what he had to do. He did what he had to do. I feel like he didn't. He wasn't able to do any more than that, but. It's enough. There's a, I bet you there's some injury stuff going on Maybe. with him because, you know, prior to him rising as high as he has, he was in relatively good condition. But now he's fighting the top guys and you're fighting the top guys like consistently and you're just getting battered and beat down. And that's sort of the gauntlet that determines whether you can hang with the big boys. Yep. So Fair I enough. think Toby Zara is going through a little bit of that. You know, I mean, it's the, it's the same. Now we were mentioning it's like with Kota Nowaka, with Kirabayama. They, they had the, the feeling out period. So we're going to see, is he in the feeling out period or is he just going to up and down and up and down? And that's what that's that's what right. we're going to find out for Toby Zara. Yes. And I'm looking forward to it because Flying Monkey Sumo is always exciting. It's always good. Yeah. Th- this is the baseline that we that we're big Toby Zaro fans here. I want to see him fight Terano Fuji again. So I hope he can hang around mm. long enough for Terano Fuji to come back. Because those are, I mean, it's like, obviously, you're going to get outclassed, but you're going to try yeah. something crazy. Yeah. You're, like, fearless. So. The only problem is that Ura may be a little too far down for him this yeah. tournament, which is unfortunate. Those matches are the best. That, the, the two of them going at it is just sublime. It is. It's like, this is why we watch sumo, see these so. two guys fight. So, once again, Toby Zaru, like the others, it's kind of like, all right, let's see what happens. Cross your fingers. 
So next we have Mr. Iron Man himself, Tamawashi, whom I almost mistakenly said would have a hard time with a broken ankle, but he probably wouldn't. He'd, he'd probably still go 10 He'd five. have a missing ankle. He'd be fine. Yeah, he'd be like, oh, and I didn't need that ankle anyway. Uh, nine and six, the immortal Gollum knocks the door to Sanyaku again. So the question is, is he just the old guy hanging around or is he going to push his way back up this again? Guy, he won multiple tournaments at this point. So age is definitely only a number for him. And when you have this super crowded, super competitive top division, but none of them can hold on to it for very long, he can just start messing with people. I don't, I would love to see him like making a legitimate run at it and just completely blowing everybody's mind. Did you happen to watch the sumo prime time with him in his stable? Yes. <laughs> He was just like, I don't think about age. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's also it's great because he was he was like fatherly to the guy who who came. I think one of his stable mates just made it in the Jurio. Yes, and he was just like, oh, I'm so proud of him. He's doing so well, and I'm just like, ah, such a nice guy. When you're yeah. outside the ring, he's a really nice guy. <laughs> yeah, when you're inside the ring, it's like, uh, I hope I don't get my head taken yeah, off. Yeah, which is that's a that's a I'm finding that's a that's an increasing pattern. Once we start seeing more and more of these people outside of fighting is that a lot of them are these really cool nice guys when they get their track jackets and they no longer uh. have to worry it's like oh he's such a fun guy but tamawashi it's going to be one of those things where just one day it's not going to work anymore but interesting thing about sumo prime time when they were talking to him they said he never missed a match yeah everyone's just content to pretend they didn't yeah. force him out for covid well that was that was the condition yeah that, uh, it when was. they realized what they were gonna doing we're just like you know what you would have came but we made you not so we're gonna strike that from the record and yeah right and i guess if you just keep talking about it that way people will forget so a little bit of like, a little bit of rug sweeping between friends is no big deal <laughs> right yeah. so I, I found that yeah. interesting my ears sort of perked up it's like mm. yeah okay well yeah that's, that's what we're doing that's the narrative that's fine but, uh, yeah, I think he could make it up to Sanyaku again. I think it's very possible. Oh, goodness, yes. Yeah, I don't know would, about going higher than that, but, boy, I wouldn't would, it be something if I, he challenged for Ozeki? I don't want to say that out loud, but I can see him, like, Kamasubi Sekiwake with double-digit wins, and everybody's looking into each other. It's like, oh, God, is he going to do it? Right. Is is, is he going to Tochi Noshin this and this veteran Ozeki? That's true. Like, in that it, time with Tochi oh. Noshin... I kind of lost the perspective of how incredible that was in terms it's, of he was he was not into the discussion no. because of those injuries. No. Out of nowhere, he makes the run. He gets Ozeki. He's dominant for like a tournament or two. That means like anybody could do that if they were good enough. Mm, this guy's won two cups. He's yeah. good enough. I'm, I'm, I'm interested because like right here, this is where he can just, you know, ruin some dreams. Go back in a He definitely Yaku. wants to ruin dreams. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine if he leapfrogged over Wakataka Kage? Oh, like, you can <laughs> see it like the way it is. Yeah, I could. You're, like you're thinking in March, you're just like, anything can happen in Osaka. Anything. And that's in it. That's in that pile of anything. Yeah, so uh, once again, we're just going to throw our hands up in the air and be like, all right, Tom Wash, you do your thing. I love watching him do his thing. I do, too. Oh, he's <laughs> Although, please don't injure anybody I like. No. I like Any, him until he... else. <laughs> yeah, I like him until he injures people. And then I'm like, I don't like you anymore. And then I have to like him again. So just don't injure anybody. Next, we have sort of a downer. Shodai, Micah Sure 1 West, down from Sekiwaki 2 West, 6 and 9. Not only is he not going to be Ozeki, but he's not even in the Sanyaku anymore. It's t It was time. It was time. We we needed this, like, just no questions about it, done. We closed the book. Mm -hmm. I will say this has been the most excited I've been for Shodai Sumo. Yeah. Then I am going to be in March because it's going to be 15 days of stress-free Shodai. Yeah. And is watch this, him win the tournament. Yeah. Like, the Shodai that we loved, like, the reason our heart bled for him when he was just suffering and eoring all over the place <laughs> it was because shodai on the way up was this jolly carefree but really good at sumo guy mm -hmm. and now that all that pressure's gone now that the entire story is just put to pasture now the shodai that we know and love can come back Right, and the reality is Shodai was always a dangerous wrestler in terms of he could beat your favorite guy and ruin their tournament. Uh -huh. That Shodai can come back now. 
And now I'm some like it is. It it's the it's it's the coming home we're just like I know you failed everything but not, at least you're home now. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it is, you know, you come home, you just you have some ice cream, you cry for a week and then you're back. And the thing is, and I could be totally wrong, I could picture Shodai being like, oh, thank God, that's over. I, I, there's a bit of relief. There has to be. Yeah. And he wakes up one day, he's just like, oh. Well, I mean, think about Hakuho. He didn't want to give up Sumo. He he did not want to retire. And he cried during his ceremony and everything. But if you watch interviews with him, he's, he's so, so happy. He's relaxed. He's smiling. He just can do his thing. It's somebody else's problem to get in the ring and fight. There's got to be that in Shodai, even if he's, you know, bummed out that he's not Ozeki so anymore. I'm, I am hopeful. Now, this will this will also be an interesting comparison of him and Mitakeyumi. Mm. Again, Mitakeyumi doing this very weird, like, predicting the future for Shodai and how he goes. Yeah. And up until this point, it was very, it was very much hits Karoban, gets to... Um, Ozeki Wake, as they call it, and then f- falls out of that, and then everything's done. Like for Mitaki Yumi, he's just continuing to slide. Mm-hmm. So now Shodai's opportunity to break with the convention and just have some fun again. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't it be interesting if he just goes for winning huh? and doesn't worry about Ozeki runs? What? Because it's hard to even go on a run. So, like, he doesn't even have to think about, oh, I need to go no on my runs. Run. He doesn't have to win. He doesn't have any. Win a tournament and make some money. No like, expectations. Yeah. It's just it's just 15 days of fun. Now, this is our very optimistic outlook. Hopefully, that is exactly how it will go, and there's not a slide further. I am, well, again, Mitakeumi could be the predictor for how Shodai is. Right. You're, My you're, hope is that it's not. Yes, yes. Th- there, I will also admit a near blind optimism that Shodai is not just going to fade out into the sunset entirely. I'm with you, though. I, I'm feeling I, the same thing. March could obviously change our mind, but uh, I, I'm not ready to think that he's I'm, I am, He's that bad. I'm like, ooh, Shodai's going to fight, and nobody, nobody's watching him. Nobody's just like, pride of Ozeki. It is, it is, you know, <laughs> it's all gone. Yeah, so good luck, Shodai. Go ahead, win a tournament. You can do it. Next, we have Abi. Magashira 2 East. Um, I do not know his previous... He was 3 East before. 3 East, okay. 8 and 7. He had this momentum going, you know, being in the title races and things like that. And really? now, it, th- this is a thing with him? It, he, hit, he hits ceilings, and he, then he struggles. And yes. wait, like where the ceiling is is almost arbitrary. I will also say that it could be around the same rank, but because of the way that Sanyaku is, that so like whenever, if there were four Sanyaku, right, then he would have been, I feel like he would have been a little higher up. Mm-hmm. But just the way things are, he's a little low. He's, he's, he's having some issues. It was a weird roller coaster ride for him in January, though, because the first week we're like, oh, five and oh, right. he's going to do it. And he, then he's going to break the curse. And then he barely gets Kachikoshi at the end of it. So he got in it way in his own head on that one. And this is, like you said, this is his, this is his, his demon, his cross to bear. I'm actually going to read what you had written here because it is very, very poetic. A thin line between prospect and punching bag is personified in Abby. And this is a true statement. You want to see one wrestler who on one day looks like he's the next Yokozuna and on the other day just looks like a a disorganized mess? Yeah. Just all of a sudden, like, the feet are flying up in the air and the arms are extended way too much and he's on his face. Panic pulling. Yeah. You know, it, it might be the the curse of pusher thrusters, I guess. Oh, oh, maybe a little bit, but it's he does. There's some sort of a pressure, mental thing that mental block that once he gets a certain something happens in his head, like it doesn't. It's it's not physical. Like the fact that he broke his had that elbow issue, comes back and gets eleven and four. Right, exactly. It is a hundred percent not physical. It is all just something going on in the brain case. Well, see, this is where. And, you know, personalities break this idea, but this is where this obsession with training comes in that Hakuho always talks Mm -hmm. about. If you're training, training, training to the point where you can't even see straight, you're not thinking. And, you know, you have the thinkers who can just focus right on sumo and you have the thinkers like Abby who worry about everything. Oh, you know. If I just did this, if I just did that, I I, got to get on this Ozeki right now. Like, you can almost see, like, there's a lot of pointless thinking. And if 
the confidence could come together if perhaps the training was more focused. He needs, to, he needs calmer waters. Yeah, like just don't think about anything. Just train so much that it just happens when you're in the ring. And that's a certain philosophy. I'm not necessarily endorsing it. But it would be good if Abby didn't have to think so much every time he got to a certain level. He gets in his own way. Yeah. I mean, if I was a sumo wrestler, that would happen to me. I probably, let's say I was like the greatest skill of all time. I still would never hit Yokozuna because I'd be like, well, you know, in that last match, if I just put my toe over here, Mm -hmm. then Mm -hmm. I probably would have won that. I would be useless. So I'm not condemning anyone. I'm just saying. It'd be good to just his, focus going forward. Yeah, it's now your brand of sumo, yeah. all that crap. Strictly speaking, he did make his kachikoshi. It is an eight and seven. His upward movement. Yep. It just feels like for Osaka, it is going to be a matter of whether or not he can conquer these demons, and that has been what he's. That's been his fight since he came back up. Yeah, because unfortunately, once you win a title, and even before he won the title, he he stormed back. So quickly in title contention, everyone's talking to Zeki Run. Anything less than that is now a disappointment, and that's the problem it's you a, find yourself in when you ascend that quickly. There's it just heaps right on you. Mm-hmm. So it's just we'll see, we'll see. Nobody's looking at him right now, so it gives him an opportunity to just focus. Focus. Next we have Ruden Megashir Two S up for Megashir Five East Nine and Six. Has he hit his ceiling yet? So normally I would you would look at a veteran up and coming. Like you'd look at Nishikigi, you'd look at Sada no Umi, and you're like, you're doing pretty well for yourself. You're getting up there. I think, you know, and then eventually you hit a point where you're like, I don't know if you can go any higher. But like with Ryudin, he's got his full head of steam. His his sumo's been consistent. He's doing really well. And it feels like he wants to go as high as he can. And, like, he will need to be physically dragged down. Right. And, and he's not quite the veteran age of some of these guys he's, we're talking he's about. He's on that cusp. It's he's like Dai Aisho. He's, he's just sort yep. of teetering. And, yeah, I am. I have been more than pleased with how powerful and just the, the slickness of his sumo gets that bell grip. You're just dead. He's done a lot of work since his demotion, yes. you can tell, because he was a big mess before that demotion, where he's doing the jockey tachi eye. Yeah, he, 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 it just seemed like he didn't even know how to move his body in the right way. He was looking quite awkward out there. So, yeah, now that he's sort of put things together, maybe he doesn't even know how much capability he has until he's out there fighting. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm optimistic he's going to keep going up. It's sort of This is one of those, like, convention says... Somebody in his position is eventually going to get caught up in the top five meat grinder. It's just like that's like that's what the that's what the gut says, but mm-hmm. the heart says he's not done. He is far from done. He's going to surpass all of the he's conventions. He's going to surpass. He's going to break them. He's going to break the mold over his knee. Yeah, forget the mold. Forget the mold. <laughs> Smash. I'm. I am. I'm hoping for that, and I feel like there's. He's still got more to show us. There's. There's. And you know, this is. You know, where, where dreams fly, they also fall. So Right. <laughs> so it could be like, oh, wow, yeah, that didn't turn out anything like we I can't, you said. Know, we, well, this is, this, this is just our curse is that we want all 42 of these people to win. <laughs> yeah, you really can't be happy at the end of that when you know somebody has to lose. <sighs> it's, a, it's a zero-sum game, guys. There's only 15 matches. Yeah, so, you know, we'll see. Because it's always whatever skill level he has mm-hmm. put up against everybody else's. So... He doesn't get to determine it completely. He just gets to do his thing. Do his best. Brand sumo. Best brand of sumo. My favorite phrase. <laughs> Next, we have Mitaki Yumi, who we've spoken about a little bit. Maegashira 3 East, down for Maegashira 2 East, 7 and 8. He's just, I wouldn't say a free fall, but, I mean, he's... So where... Where I'm looking at Ryudin and I'm saying, I feel like he can go higher. I feel like he can go higher, even though convention says otherwise. The exact opposite from Itaka Yumi. Convention for him. Like, guy fall, guy was Ozeki for a year, a long time. Career Sanyaku, tumbles down out of Sanyaku. 
Like if this was Takayasu, we'd be like, he'll be back in there. Right. You know, if this was Kirabayama. He's back in there. This was you know, pick anybody right now in Sanyaku currently, and they fall out of Sanyaku. We're like, he'll be back up there. But Takayumi doesn't. There's no. There's no optimism there. It's it's it, it does feel like the universe is out to get him like karmically. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel I like he like like somebody read his tea leaves and they were terrible and it's just been bad ever since. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The truth about me, Takayumi, is it was a big, huge hurdle for him to get out of Sanyaku to get Ozeki finally, and then it was like put up or shut up. It's like okay, you've reached it. Do you belong here? And he couldn't hang. He couldn't hang. Yeah. So there's. He did have some injury issues that we yep. think are just under the surface. Um, there is like that crushing loss. Like he, like he, sort of like Shodai. Like he didn't just lose Ozeki. He lost his chance to get back. He lost Sanyaku. Like he's just crashing out. And Mitakiumi, there was always some. Like he would have the fire. He would have the pressure. He'd have that like that powerful presence. And then like they, they would somebody would turn off the Bunsen burner, and then there's yep. nothing. And that, so it's all like this confluence of stuff is just working against Mitakiumi. Like, I, I feel like we need some sort of a Shinto ritual to, 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 to right this ship because it is, it is reaching the supernatural. I, I could see, I'm knocking all the woods again. Walk all the woods. I could see someone like Mitakiumi just like retiring out of the blue. Ugh. Yeah. Like, there's something about him where it almost seems like he's only got so much to output. And then it's like, ah, I'm done with this. I, it, I can see that too. I want his redemption arc. Yeah, I mean, it I could want, come. I, yeah, I want him. You know, I, I don't want him to get like suspended. Right. But like, I want some. I want something some, like that. that I want that Abby esque return. Yes. I want the like Ryuden, Ryuden's doing it. Sanayama knocking on all the. All Those the were again. all suspensions. So. They, well, they were all suspensions. You know, he could I mean? just he could just take a, you know, a couple tournaments off and just get demoted. <laughs> but I don't know why you would do that. This would be, you know, that's a that's a card no one's played yet. Why that's not? Some, that's that somebody just says I'm just gonna go backpacking around Japan for four months and they come back and they become Yokozuna in the next year. Yeah. Hey, I mean, talk you. What are you doing? <laughs> what well, are you I mean, think about much? how this has worked for so many guys. Like, it's yeah. I I'm telling you this. If in sumo you could take more time off, you would see better results for many many people. Maybe. I mean, it tells you. Something about Hakuho and how insane he is because he was Yokozuna for 20 something years. No one can do that. No. Most people need some rest and Sumo doesn't let you have it. So you're going to be like short term once you get up to the top. Why not, Mitaki Yumi? If you've already got this like, you know, fall and. Yeah. So, so, ha, like, just about, take a break. Yeah. How about the Mitaki Yumi? If, uh, if you go 5 and 10 in Osaka, just stay in Osaka through like May. No, no, through the summer. Do some, come back in September. You'll be ranked. You'll be Division Three, and you just just take the entire summer to just like soak in the universe. Yeah, just uh, and then he'll come back and he'll be right back at Ozaki. Like exactly. nothing ever happened. You know, I mean, if if it happens with Asanoyama, which I actually yeah. expect it will, yeah, then we will have had yeah. Terano Fuji, Asanoyama, if Ura. Abi Ura, to if an extent, Tochi Noshin. Yeah, Tochi Noshin started that whole yes. thing. So I mean, there's something to this. Something to it, Mitaki. We're not, we're not, we're not telling you to fail miserably. Um, we want you to just turn the ship around all by yourself. Uh, but, but I would say just, just put this, put this card in your pocket and just, you know, see if, if you get desperate. If you get desperate, you know, it's, it's there for you. Yeah, if his stable master would even let him do such <laughs> things. It's like your, it's like it's like your triple A card. You just have it. You don't want to use it. <laughs> exactly. But you, if you get a flat tire, yeah, give him a call. Yes, yeah, exactly. So next we have Nishikigi, Magashira 3 West, up from Magashira 5 East, 9 and 6. So Nishikigi is one of these resurging... It's another... It's the resurging pile. Yeah. Over there on the on the, the group of them. Uh, similar... A lot of the things I have to say to him are similar to what I had to say for Ryuden. And that, like, the convention is... Here's the here's the re-spark. Here's the second win guy. With 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 a couple of exceptions, you don't get too much higher than this rank. Yeah, the top five is usually when you bottom out. And for both Ryuden and Nishikigi, I'm like these guys are just showing some really good sumo. It's fun, exciting to watch. It's also great to see people like you've seen before. And th- there is always like when they yeah. fall in the Jiro, you don't know if you'll see them back. And when they're gone for a long enough amount of time, you're sort of just like I think that's it. And then when they come back, like it's 
it's almost better than before. Right. It's a reunion. It's a reunion. So well, what's interesting is perhaps this problem up at the top that we're talking about does leave the door open for people like Nishikiki, mm-hmm. who are probably better than the average sumo wrestler, but couldn't get far because Hakuho existed. There was yeah, there was no there was no downward press. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if we, if we had a four Yokozuna reign, yeah, yeah, we wouldn't be seeing Nishikiki back. No, he he, it just it'd be too hard. But then again, we might not be seeing some of these other guys either. It's it's it's, it's the big question mark. It's the there, there, there is a there is a lack of regulation. Yes, going on, and now for for better or worse, it means that we have this group of people who are just desperately trying to get up, right? And but on the other hand, we've got somebody like Nishikigi who can make a name for themselves, and I I want to see how high I want to see where his ceiling is. I don't know. Yeah, it could be uh, very interesting to see these veteran guys knocking on the young guys' doors, like, hey, come on in. Yeah. Nishikigi is a talented guy, so we we will have to see. Next, we have Mr. Surprise. Big Surprise. Mr. Big Surprise, who should have been able to do this sooner. Maybe that's part of the surprise. Oh, no show. Magashir 4 East. Up for Magashir 8 East. 10 and 5. You show contention. It, th- that was shock. That's more shocking than the 10 and 5. He's done 10 and 5s. It was... It was- so we were talking, I was talking, you know, we, we were talking about how in going into January, we're like, he's just on a seesaw. He's up and down and up and down just all day. He needs to break it. Cause it was, cause I was saying like he was up in November. He had a Kachikoshi. We we're like, well, he's down for a Makakoshi unless he proves us wrong. 10 and five. Beautiful. Yeah. A, a good way to prove us Proverate wrong. Prove us wrong. And so, and he's got some swagger back. Looks like he's got his confidence. He's talking about how he wants to go upwards. Um, I'm not convinced the seesaw is gone. Mm-hmm. So, a little. I'll say. I say a tempered optimism for Ono Show. But if he can take us, he if he's planting that seed of whatever he had going, then a lot of that momentum that he had years ago, maybe that can come back and surge upwards. Yeah, I mean, it's it'd be a good question to see if like did he just get lucky and he didn't screw up like he does, or did he change something that he can now build into build. something better because. Even though he's done 10 and 5s before, being in Yusho contention and feeling some of that pressure, that is the highest he has ascended so far. Yeah. So he's done He's done an improvement better than we've seen in the past. Can he build on that and just break the stupid yeah. seesaw or at least match it? At least match it, yeah. So it is, once people get that taste, that, that mm. does seem to be, for like for some people, it's like, ooh, I want more. And it's maybe for other people are like, uh-oh. Well, you know, the truth is, I see an Ono show sort of like the the Japanese Hoshoryu. Like, could you imagine? Okay. You, he's got a lot of, I mean, he's tempering. When he's doing his peacock struck, and, I mean, he's tempering. All, you can tell he has a lot bubbling in there. Mm-hmm. You know? So I could see him being just as fiery as Hoshoryu, but, you know, it's just different. He's supposed to maintain it. He's yeah. supposed to keep so it in. The, it's the iceberg effect. Right. Whereas Hoshoryu probably gets a little bit of leeway because Asashoryu was like that. Mm. So it's like, oh, of course he's going to be like that. So I could just see Onosho feeding off of this and being... Yeah, the hope... He's not as talented as Hoshoryu. That's the problem. But he has the same kind of passion as Hoshoryu. The hope is he leverages this and brings yes. it forward. But we're but there there is the fear. Mm. I, I don't want to bet. back a guy. Not the bottom dollar on Ono Show. Not yet. Not yet. If he get he he does better in Osaka. He gets that nice March Kachikoshi this high up. Then we can start talking. I think if Ono Show trained in the same stable as Taki Keisho, he'd probably be unstoppable. Oh my goodness, that'd be terrifying. Because the thing is, Ono Show has some really really powerful sumo. But he has not learned, A, the, the footwork, way messier than Abby's. He hasn't found a way to output it in a way that would just put him at the advantage. And I think that's got to come from training. That, that's got to be a training issue. So, I mean, for him, because he's not a belt guy, there's there's less things you need to tweak. You just need to become the most powerful at outputting your power. 
to be a pusher thruster. That's why people can't stand pusher thrusters. <laughs> it's like you don't have to do that much. You just have to be a really strong guy. That's that's what Onosho needs. He just, yeah. So I mean, it's more possible I think for him to write the ship than some others. He's he's in he's he has he has got all the momentum going into March to start a new trend. Mm-hmm. He's got the he's got that the upward motion. He's got the, the the record. He's got that taste. He's got the hunger. It's just can he convert it? And I will say I am not ready to jump on that ship either. But boy, do I want someone to prove me wrong. <laughs> I want to be so wrong that I'm like apologizing. That's how wrong I want to be. I don't want to be predicting such doom and gloom. I want you to be like, you're wrong, and I'm winning a trophy. Mm-hmm. It's what I want. Be nice. I mean, every time we bad talk on show, he does well. So, hey, hey, show. Hey, yeah, you suck. You suck. <laughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> no, it's, it's too hard. <laughs> it's too much. Uh, we didn't mean that. No, no. We're I'm just sorry. being jerks again. I don't know. There's something about March. <laughs> <laughs> Stormy 42 opinions. Okay. May say, Magashira 4 West, down from Komosubi 2 East. So he's one of the casualties. Yes. Who was not able to maintain. 5 and 10, frustration all over the place. <laughs> I would say frustration is the name of the game for May say. He works very hard and he tries very hard, but he does not always get the results. It's, it's, those, it's those photo finish. So we were talking about this with, with Toby Zara, with Kota Nawaka, with Abi. That it does, it you get that just the half second win, that mono we win, and you get away with it because mm-hmm. the record's there. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, Mace had that going the wrong way for him. And so, like, he was in those matches, those five, five and ten. It was not a blowout, it was not a you don't belong here. It was a fighting really hard to the end, and then just that, that half second went against them. And that's that's what's so frustrating about this. It's like, it's not like he can. He's not like he can, you know, not like you go into the locker room after the match and you're like, okay, what happened? It, it, it was a, I right. did everything right. Just couldn't Didn't get work. it done. The bad boss show. That's the problem with those fighters that fight on the edge is you can't really predict your outcomes. No. Some guys, it's like, oh, my Tachi eye is great right now. I'm winning. When I put this formula together, I can do great things. When you're somebody like Daesho or like Maysay, you don't always know what the result's going to be because all of your matches are close. You don't know if you're going to get the benefit or not. So yeah. for poor Mace, he's probably a better fighter than his record would show. Yes. But that's also the kind of fighter he is. Is He's just on the it's, line. It's unstable. And yeah. so you can't hold on to anything. So, so unfortunately, he is out of Sanyaku and he's going to have to fight again. He'll fight his way back in. but He'll, it, he'll fight. It, well, this is, this is the upswing is that May say he's, he's a scrapper. He'll get in there. It's, yeah. This is not going to deter him. He never gives up. He doesn't. So he'll. It's like if he can get those wins, if he can start, if he can reduce the instability, he'll be back. Yeah. So I mean, we're not necessarily putting him on any warning lists, or you know. No, no, he's way too high up for that. Yeah. So next we have Koto Shoho, Magashira 5 East, up for Magashira 13 East, one of the biggest promotions. This, this was, was this a, the biggest promotion? This was a shocker. I did not expect him to be this high. I didn't expect it either, but I mean, he had an 11 and 4. He was like showing the best sumo we've seen it, it in was, his career so far. It, everything clicked for him. So, and, he, and he, he had it in his power to win on the last day. That's what was so wild about it. Right. Like it wasn't like him waiting around. It wasn't like it wasn't it wasn't uh Aoyama watching Hakaho win it in backstage. Right. It was him fighting Takakesho for everything on the last day. To go to go from sh- career struggling, can't get it back together after injuring and falling into Jirio two, looking like he never had a problem to begin with. Right. So for him this is really a fresh start. Like what he yeah. did in the last tournament, this could be the new Koto Shoho. We could sort of forget about everything in the past if he could put it together it's, again. Him and him and Ono Show have the same have the same sort of marching orders. Mm-hmm. And that if they can just take harness that energy from the last tournament and just go and, just and go. build on it. Yeah, Koto Shoho does seem. The both of them also do seem to be like momentum fighters. Like they yeah. build off of confidence and and positive feedback. 
at least in terms of results. Right. So that I am also I can't <laughs> I can't help but feel that Kota Shohu is going to fight tooth and nail now that he's up here. He's just like, oh, I yeah. got to hold on to this. Yeah, I mean, and he's he's a fiery guy too. He's I mean, fiery. He when he was coming up into the upper division, I mean, he was making some pretty bold declarations of wanting to be Yokozuna and stuff. And sure, in theory, everybody says that, but they don't. There are certain guys that say, I want to be Yokozuna, and you know they mean it. And there's other guys that say, yeah, I want to be Yokozuna. Usually they'll be, like, they'll be like, I'm looking higher. They'll be, yes. It'll be, more, it'll be more vague. I'm aiming higher. I want to try to, you know, more wins and losses. I want to, you know, pay back my fans for their commit, their support. But you know, then there are the people that'll be like, I want to, I want the very top. Right. And he's one of those guys. And I think if he had not been injured, we might have seen a very uh, different it's, side of him. It's his... How yeah. you recover from injury is different for everybody. Some people <laughs> never do. Some people are the great talent. I, I think of in hockey, there's Eric Lindros. He was like the guy. He was going to shatter every record, and he kept getting concussions, and he just he couldn't recover from it. He could never be the guy that he was talented enough to be. So there are some you know, uh, sports figures out there who are capable of so much more, but the circumstances just eliminated it. So hopefully that is not the case for Koto Shoho. He's, hopefully he's yeah, put that in the is, past. This is still a steep up tick. Yes. I am I I feel like he needs to go in with optimism but tempered, tempered expectations. Just yes. don't not another 11 and 4. Just just get out there and keep the momentum, keep the swagger. Well, at least for now, just focus on winning in the first week because that's what kills a lot of these guys. Yes. They come in slow, they lose a couple matches that they shouldn't lose, or, you know, if you're high enough, you get all the top guys, and what can you do? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you start getting your momentum in the second week, but you run out of runway. It's like, oh, if I just had three more days, it'd be a different story. The Oho effect. Yeah, exactly. So, some uh, Koto Shoho needs to win in the first week, and then we can have a conversation mm -hmm. about where he's going from there. Mm -hmm. So next we have Midori Fuji, Migashira 5 West, down for Migashira 3 West, 6 and 9. I mean, he had some of the best matches, some of the best spirit. But as we had spoken about, there was the scandal with Issei Gahama. Yeah. The fact that Terano Fuji is, you know, out. And he had a lot. A lot of the Fujis had a lot going against them. And they're small. Uh, they're I smaller mean, guys. So they have that always against them. To his them. credit, like Midori Fuji's january was like some of the best sumo out of him no one was like i think people might look at the record long from now and be like oh he had a bad january yeah. but anybody who watched that tournament didn't think no this guy stinks they were like wow what impressive so sumo. much sumo heart every the takakesho match oh it was so good so he's i feel like he's fine i feel like now that the the tabloids have moved on from outside his doorstep yeah now that terana fuji is Hopefully back, and if not back, maybe able to more actively train with him. Mm -hmm. Get sort of sort of shake that off. Yep. Like we like we, like we were mentioning earlier about how March is the new beginning. Yes. The, the January Basho was was leftovers from 2023. Right. Now, it, now it's actually 2023, guys. Now is the real actual new beginning. Right. Exactly. So um, unless there's an injury, he's probably going to do a lot better like you said when the paparazzi's gone yeah, they're all gone you got, you're not, not waking up to the sound of camera shutters exactly so good luck midori fuji next we have endo boy when we talk about roller coasters oh endo is like the king roller coaster he's up from magashira nine west to magashira six east nine and six okay so we get this resurgent endo but what do you do with this i don't well I have no clue what to make of this. He, yeah. he like he had a he had a I'll say an above average endo tournament in January. Like we were I'm I'm still sort of trying to like come to terms with myself about how endo's <laughs> ratcheting down. Yeah. But then in but yeah, then in January you're like, oh, you're you're doing pretty well for yourself. Like, moving upwards, fighting stronger. Right, you're like, Oh, this is a nice a little, little more, surprise. A little more spirited. I am not gonna go one way or the other on this i'm just gonna watch observe very carefully if we get another spirited endo perhaps the flicker of hope can spring again right i don't i, I don't want to jinx it i don't want to put the pressure on i don't want to put the pressure off right just cautiously watch cautiously watching hopeful that the uh the technician has another push at it 
Yeah, I mean, I hope he has many more years of just challenging and, and showing off his flashy sumo. But you never know with this guy. Like, one minute you think, okay, he's sliding so far. This is happening way too quick. And next thing you know, it's like, he's oh, he's, back up. right, he's back. So, I don't know. I don't know either. But uh, what I will say is that if he has another 9-5, and five, he'll be uh, back in range of the Yokozuna. Right. And if he's not in... If Taro Fuji isn't here in March, he pretty well will be in May. And you know that Endo's got to make Taro Fuji just a little bit nervous. He's got to put the pace on that guy in the back of his mind. Just like, I'm going to get him again. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, just like Tamawashi, by yeah. the way. Oh, man. That Tamawashi. Yeah. So, you know, it, we kind of need to see him go a little higher. A little bit more. Then we can talk about where he's Then we can talk headed. about it. Then we can talk. So next we have... Our other veteran that we love to talk about, Sadano Umi, Maegashir 6 West. Down from Maegashir 4 West, 6 and 9. This might have just been the situation where he was too high. Well, it was weird because when we, he was, he was 4, I have it written down, 4 West. So in, in, I think in September he got to 4 West. And then when he was in November, he kept rank at 4 West. We're like, oh, this is probably where he belongs. 4 West is pretty perfect. And then he gets to 6 and 9 here. I'm like, hmm. Uh oh, it's it is. He is one of those people. It's just like he's not getting better or worse. It's just that everybody around him feels like they're getting better or worse, or everybody around him has you know a little bit more something gumption. Right, almost and like he's staying stable, and then the other variables are affecting so him. Yes, so he's he's like a barometer. You know, yep. it's just like when the, when when the when the uh, when the air pressure starting to go down, that's when you see Sada Naomi starting to lose, and then. So I, that's that's how I get it on it. So I'm, I am now looking at this this group of people around him. You've got you know may say he wants back up. You've got these two guys over here who find themselves find themselves with a trial to match. You know, and then you've got Earl Urs down here. Ta- yeah, bleh, by the way, if Takayasu's healthy, look out, Sada Naomi. Yeah, right. So like, so I am looking at this like sea of uncertainty around Sada Naomi, and I'm like, uh oh. Like so this can break his way. If these two people crumble, those are two wins for him. Mm-hmm. You know, if en- if Endo goes back to nine and five, so this is this is where the I don't know what will happen. Until right. We see how everyone else is doing. And you know, Sadanomi is positioned the way a good veteran should be. Like when you get to that age, you should sort of be in that position. Yes. He's where he wants to be. Like yeah, he still he still is in a comfortable place, and I do still enjoy the fact that he we we were like. Nice to see you, Sada Naomi. All. Thought he was going right back. Thought he was gone. Thought he was gone. And then he's just like, uh-uh. Here, here, here I'm back. You're like, okay. Back and as good as I've ever been. Right. Definitely as good as he's been for in some time. Very, very pleasing to watch. And I'll just we'll just have to see how we'll see how the, the weather forecast is for him. Yeah, clearly this Stormy Basho is just full of question marks. So next we have your guy, Hokuto Fuji. Small slide down from my Gashira 60s to my Gashira 70s, 7 and 8. It's a very slow fade. It's a very, very slow fade. Where I'm In my mind, I'm slowly going from can he go back to where he was to a can he stay where he is. It's a very painful, concerning dwindle. I, I picture people who are fans of Koto Shogiku went through this. Uh-huh. Like here was the Ozeki... And then he falls, and then it's like, oh, he can make it back. And it's like you have this slow grieving process of, no, it's done now. It may be done. It's he's he does he needs that complete overhaul. He needs something. It's because it, it's just like people, yeah. I I made this point in I think January. It's just like the veterans are passing him by. Mm-hmm. The, the young hot shots are passing him by. He's just, he's getting outpaced and he's getting outworked no matter how hard he works. Right. It's almost like his energy is wasted energy. Like he's outputting all the energy he can, but it's not resulting in it's wins. It's not resulting. So the, he needs to change the strategy. But like, what what is that strategy? I have no clue. Right. I have no insight onto this. Right. So we'll just have to see if yeah, he figures he, it out. He needs to figure it out. It's just, or or he's just him and Mio Giryu. And who else would be a nice middle of the road? Azumari is moving up there. So yeah. He's just going to start. 
He's just going to start hanging out with the veterans. Right. It's like, welcome to the veteran welcome club. Welcome to the veteran club. You're a little you're a little young for it, but... Hey, we'll take new members. I guess so. He's the youngest veteran on the record. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. Ugh, unless he does something. You never know, John. This is one of those areas where you're being negative and hopefully you're wrong. I, I want to be wrong. Yes. I want to be wrong. And as, as, as I'm insufferably about anytime he starts doing well i send you a message I'm like, he's, he's turning it around <laughs> hope and fuji you show day two he won two in a row he's a shoe in for the cup that's Boy, always there you i could just imagine like the, it would be so worth it for him to win a cup just to see how happy it would make oh you oh my god i'd lose my mind you'd be celebrating for oh a month I, I that i would i would just you know how we put takakesha's pictures there i would just leave it there the whole show yeah i'll be like oh, you, you go we don't even need to look at these <laughs> we don't even look at the other pictures just <laughs> staring at that for two hours you, you'll go to me and be like can't shouldn't we like see the pictures so people can see what we're talking about i'm like nah no oh, we need to just see nah, hokuto fuji it's, it's just two hours of hokuto fuji guys <laughs> So next we have Takeyasu. Okay, he was the other casualty in this in yes. the Sanyaku. They put him all the way down to Maegashira Seven West. He was one five and nine. So this I think was the uh, the back was it? Back ankle. Yeah. So he is the king of setbacks. He has these glorious moments and then these horrible falls. It all collapses down. So Takayasu, I, I think, is a good example of someone who would probably still be Ozaki if not for his persistent injuries, mm-hmm. particularly the back. I do think he has this ankle thing, too. But when his back flares up, it's like there's nothing he can do. You He's so it. much more talented than the, and the injuries just yeah. take that away. Yeah. So that being said, where he is right now, if even if he is still injured, he is low enough to still smash people. Oh, yeah. If his injury is healed enough that he's doing just his regular sumo, this is so he fun. should have double-digit wins, no he'll, problem. He'll get a special prize out of this. Right. Get some money out of the deal, right? Yeah. So I'm not... I, I, feel, like, I feel like we can be hopeful on him. Yeah. We have no reason no to reason. think that there's an issue. So it, it really it really it is it's just like, well, re-rack, reset, second verse, seem as the first. Right. And we've seen him do this enough times yeah, that it's really. like... All right, well, back he's back down there. We're still on this never-ending quest to see if he can win a U show. Oh man! See what I don't want to see in this tournament is Takakesho Takayasu for the U show. I really don't want to see that because I don't want to have to pick. Like, I want if Taka if Takakesho is in it, I that's who I'm rooting for. If Takakesho is out of it, then I'll pick somebody else. But I do not want to see Takakesho Takayasu. Day 15 for the U show. I don't want to see it. Yeah. Well, we know who'll win, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Well, we it, precedent would set that way, but for a Stormy Boss show. That's true. You never know. This is the moment. This is his moment. <laughs> we, no matter what, there'd be a slow walk after that. <sighs> yeah. Well, so we don't need any more slow walks. No more slow. Well. So. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what happens with Takayasu. <laughs> I'm like out of breath now thinking about this yeah, scenario. You just, you just, anytime Takayasu is involved, you, you just brain goes through all the trauma all over yeah, again. Yeah, I am I am going through some PTSD <laughs> right now, I'm telling you. I, I'm picturing Hang that, in there, Takayasu. I'm picturing that man after Abby did the jump and him landing on the ground just writhing in emotional and physical pain. Ugh. And at my heart is just like ugh, <sighs> twisting and it's rough. Oh, we need I need a break. Okay. Moving on to Ichi Yamamoto. Maegashira 8 East. Big jump from Maegashira 14 East with his 10 and 5. Hefty promotion. Consistency is still a problem. I did. So with a 10 and 5, you can't be all luck. But I remember almost being surprised that he got a Kachikoshi, let alone double-digit wins in January. There was a lot right. of flaily desperation. So sort of sort of the inverse may say yeah. in that... All everything seemed to break his way, and so glad to see it. On um, you know, for the short term, <laughs> good to see him get the promotion. He's he's well out of Jurio range now, barring his barring a complete disaster, which doesn't doesn't seem to be what will be happening. But now, like looking at him, I'm like, okay, like we need to build. Right. It, it, it's it's like it's like Ono Show. It's like Koto Shoho. We need to we need to we need to gain energy from what we did before and bring it forward but like with ichi yamamoto it's just like uh i right. pulled and it worked <laughs> it's just not it's not the energy that you want right exactly he's he's betrayed you too many times for <sighs> you to like 
go all in and say I, I want, this is it yeah i am very cautious on him i i th- like we're talking before about wanting to prove me wrong with hokuto fuji like with ichi yamamoto it's just like please prove me wrong right please tell me that it wasn't a fluke like I think it was. He he's very you know reminiscent of Abi. He has some of the same problems, yeah. but he's just not nearly as skilled as Abi is. I know I know Kintamiyama calls him like off brand Abi. Yeah, <laughs> which is always funny. Store, store brand Abi. Yeah, it's like I never noticed how much they looked alike until I started reading those comments. I'm like, yeah, I guess he does look yeah. like Abi, and yeah, he's, he's got, got the same long arm thing and the feet are flailing. He will get there. I think he will get better, but I don't know that I'm ever going to see him as a top guy. It's, well, it's, this, is, this is what he needs to shake us off. Like, he needs he to does. get suspended. Oh, God, yeah. him, him. No, him and Mitaku, we need to take the summer off together. Yeah, they need to go backpacking. They need yep. to hit up the hot springs and just oh, hot springs. forget that they're sumo wrestlers. Uh-huh. And they come back and just start getting you shush. Come back and everybody's different in the top division. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, because that's coming. Yeah. So Ichi Yamamoto, show us some stability, show us some power, show us a little less panicking. <laughs> a little less, uh, you lucked into your you wins. You lucked into your wins. Yeah. You make me eat my eat my words. Yes. Serve Let's, them up. That, that is the point. Everybody yeah. here should make yeah. us feel like yeah. the biggest on. fools on Ichi the planet. Ichi Yamamoto, I, I, want a, I want a word omelet. <laughs> so next we have, you know, fan favorite, Ura. Maegashira 8 West down for Maegashira 7 West, 7 and 8. So, you know, this is this is Ura. You know, you don't have these giant expectations because he doesn't have giant expectations. Correct. He's having fun. He's showing off a lot of cool moves that no one sees. He's unpredictable. So a seven eight is like good news. Good news, bad news, not doesn't impact us as much. Um he is getting so there is like an excitement. No, no matter which way era goes in terms of it so like when he's doing well we're like ooh, we get to see the we get to see him do stuff to the top people we get to see him like he's getting his game together it looks very fun but then like when he's tumbling down we're like oh he can get away with stuff now right he's gonna start fighting people who don't have it together and then he's just gonna do the like the fisherman's throw or some crazy <laughs> some crazy thing that you have to go look up online because you have no idea what it is the like head pivot throw oh, whatever head, that was. yeah yeah, in fairness to me, Dory Fuji, he was doing a couple of those too. That's he did, true. He did it like that thigh pull thing on Mio Gear. That was crazy. Anyway, um, that's like Ura's bread and butter. So right. like, when I see him at Eight West, I'm I'm looking around. I'm like, hmm, here Domi doesn't know how this stuff works. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. It should be fun to see him fight. Actually, like it's good that he's lower down because he's gonna fight all the new guys, this and is, that is yes. gonna be fun. This is what's this is this is the excite. This is. This is the Ura effect. Yes. It's no matter where he is on the Banzuke, you're excited for it. Exactly. It's like, okay, so somebody new to watch. Somebody him new fight. to watch for. Yeah. And then he gets a little bit lower down and you're just like, oh, he's going to get some more wins and he's going to be crazy with it. Right. You exactly. Know, just, yeah. And then he gets higher up and you're just sort of like, how long is he going to get away with it? Right. And who's yeah. he going to fight? Like, is he going to fight the it, Yokozuna? Is he going to leg pick the Yokozuna? Oh, my God. I know, right? Yeah. You just, it's it's just boundless fun. You cannot leg pick Terano Fuji, though. He would just stomp you. But he would—he's the guy who would try. He's the guy who would try, and it would be glorious. He—he like, he, he can't. Well, he can't be like picked by Teresa Yoshi for multiple reasons. Yeah. Um, primarily because they're in the same stable, but other reasons as well. Other uh, reasons as well. well. But like, so like, it falls to Ura to <laughs> do to do the like pick the crazy weird gotcha thing. Well, I mean, Terano let's Fuji. let's think of some of the highlights first when he first came up against Terano Fuji. He wouldn't fall. Oh yeah, he, he was just... like in a back bend matrix <laughs> style, holding, <laughs> holding the tassels. Oh Hold, yeah, holding onto the belt. Turn over. He looks over, thinks the match is over. Sees him like holding you... on. He pushes him. Get off of me! What are you doing? And then the last one where he was doing his like waving the hands to make the guy fall down yeah. the ground. Yeah, Nishiki Fuji. He did the yeah. He did the he did the the hand wave shake <laughs> the pantomime. Ah, oh, he's so much fun. No one will ever forget Ura. That's <laughs> that is his mark on sumo. He's a wonderful competitor. And I hope he never gets rid of the pink belt because that is a highlight. Oh, God. I don't want that. I don't think... I don't, I, I don't I, think he can. I imagine somebody comes to him and be like, well, your supporters have spent $50,000. We've gotten you a new silk belt. It's got the heart and pride of the people. And it's like... And then it's just like this like this lime... No, not, well, lime green would be fine. Like, like a... It's like gray. Or- like a gray... That charcoal color Earl looks at it, he's like, nah. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's Tell not- them to get their money back. 
<laughs> to refund. Give it to someone else. Yeah, sell it. You know, say that I wear, I'll wear it once, and you could sell yeah, it at an auction. Is. Okay, next we have Aoyama, Maegashira 9 East, up from Maegashira 10 East, 8 and 7. This is your guy. Yeah, I'm he, glad he, to see the 8 and 7, the, the positive motion. Um, he's older. We were we were looking up his age before. He's like in the same age bracket as Tamawashi on the upper side of the 30s. Uh, he's the only guy in the top division from his stable now because Tochi Notion's down. Uh, but March is his month. March is typically pretty good for him. I think last year it wasn't, but so super hopeful that he'll get his angry power going. I'll hit some more. Here's some more grunting. Want to see him take on the new guys because I think he's low he, enough. Yeah, well, that he's, he's gonna he's yeah, gonna be taking of, on some of this stuff. We're gonna talk about them. Oh, yes. Um So I'm I'm habitually happy to see him. And with the upward trend and with March coming, hopefully we're going to see a lot more of him and he'll be a good test for them young whippersnappers. Yes, because he's going to give them quite the Tachi eye. That's that's the part where Oho said there's the biggest transition is in the Tachi eye. So watch out for Aoyama to send people flying. Flying. If they're not ready. <laughs> so next we have, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Hira do Umi. Hira do Umi. Did I do it right this time? Sound right. Okay. Maegashira 9 West, up from Maegashira 10 West, 8 and 7. He's sort of the slow climb. Slower climber. So I am I just love watching him fight. There's always a struggle. Brimming with sumo spirit. Like, he, like it feels like there's no holding back with him. But he's, he's like, it's good. It's fresh. He's young and hungry. Um, anything that's progress is good. He's uh, not struggling like other people. And he's kind of taking his time, taking his time, building it up. Like for people like him, I feel like that you can tell the talents there, the strength is there, the will is there. Like it's just only a matter of time before they have that that breakout performance. And could be in March, it could be in May, it could be in July. Tempering expectations, but like we're seeing, we're seeing the slow progress. He had in the very beginning, he struggled a little bit, and now he's building at the ten and five. So I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm helpful. Yes, I want it. <laughs> I mean, if ever there was a time to see something crazy, it would be the yep. March Stormy Basho. So I I am I like this. I want to keep an, a very close eye very on close him because he him. could be doing something interesting yeah, this he's tournament. A, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a few paces ahead of the fresh new prospects. Yes. But this is not to say that he's still not a prospect himself. Right. Right. Exactly. So next we have Miyogiru, Maegashira 10 East, down from Maegashira 6 West, 6 and 9. They were a little harsh on our friend Miyogiru. A little bit. He, he got bumped down a little bit further down. Uh, he may be running out of leash on his top division. His performance was sort of mediocre. He's not had a real breakout. He's not been surging. It's been a lot of fades. So typically, when somebody does that, the there will be the, the challenge issued. This is the challenge. That Saitama Sakai power is just not going to work to your advantage this time it's like you know that coach probably called up and said hey he doesn't represent <laughs> us anymore smack him down show him his place it's it'll be well i'll be up to him i'm i'll say cautiously optimistic that he'll be fine as long as he's healthy and mm -hmm. you know i mean he's got a little bit of room to you know seven and eight six and nine yeah, again yeah. But, you know, he's, he's sticking around. But, yeah, I, f I feel like this is going to be a sort of rattle in his cage a bit. Which maybe he needs. Mm, certainly not doing it himself. So next we have Nishiki Fuji, Maegashira 10 West, down from Maegashira 4 East, 4 and 11. You know, we talked about the Fujis having a hard time. Yeah. And Nishiki Fuji was the one who had the harder time. It did feel like he wasn't himself out there. And sort of took the brunt of the pressure of the scandal and not having the Yokozuna in the tournament. And without having his stable master on the rankings committee, all 11 of those losses were put put down into him. So similar to Midori Fuji, now is sort of a time to rebuild. Hopefully the Yokozuna will be back, or at least the Yokozuna will be present in the training to help behind right, the scenes. Which will help quite a bit. And now that sort of all this is behind him, he can brush off and get back to what he was doing. And worth noting, what he was doing before was exceeding expectations and being a total machine. 
And that's part of how this worked against him. Like when you're doing as well as he was doing, and then you get a four and eleven, mm. it just it's just such a bigger impact. It's a big impact. So this that is actually a really good point. So we had Koto Shoho come up, then he had this like huge fall. He had the injury, he started falling out, and he couldn't get his head around it. So this is going to be Nisuki Fuji's chance to show his durability, his yep. resolve in the face of adversity, which you, you have to go through some of that to get up this you, high. But you have to. This is like at this level, at, you know, with this spotlight on this stage, let's see if he can do it. Every reason to believe he can, but it's still up it's, to him. Right, and he is going to get caught up in this fresh new blood that are coming yeah. up. So he, you know, like he, he's more seasoned than Hida Omi. Um, but he still, I, I still consider him somewhat green, but he's green. far more experienced than the guys who yep. are just coming up. So this, this is going to be a great test for his resolve, a great test for them to see where their levels where are at. Are. So that's going to be kind of the interesting thing. So maybe that's the, you know, glass half full part of this is with him dropping like he did. We're going to see some very interesting very, matches with the new guys. we would not have seen otherwise. Exactly. We'd see just nothing but aging veterans down there without Nishiki Fuji. So there, there's a positive in this. And if he gets through this struggle, he's going to be a better wrestler Much for better it. Much better wrestler to, to, to face it head on and rebound. That's exactly. the goal. And you know that's what Issei Gahama is focusing on. Oh, yeah. It's like, let's forget about the paparazzi. They left like last week. And we're going to move forward and see, you know, where your potential. Let's get you back on track. Exactly. So next, we have Azamaru, Magashir 11 East, up for Magashir 14 East, 9 and 6. He did it. He finally got his Kachi Kochi in the upper division, and he's just celebrating. This is, this is his victory lap. He's wanted this, what, 10 years? 10 years. 10 years. He finally got it. Uh, I He earned it. He earned it's, every one of those wins. Every one of those wins is his. It's not like with Ichi Yamamoto that I'm ragging him a little bit. It's This is all him. Yep, and he was doing a little bit of an interview with Hiro from Sumo Prime Time, and he was just like, you have no idea how happy <laughs> I am. So you could just picture that, you know, like we were talking about with Shodai, all the burden is gone. He's finally done something that he hasn't done in 10 years, and now he can just have fun. Now he can just have fun. Now he, now it, And also, he's high enough up that if he comes out the wrong end of some of these new whippersnappers, he'll still be with us. Exactly. Hooray. So, I mean, that takes some of the pressure off, too. Yeah. It's like... He's high up enough so that he can enjoy it. There's some longevity. And he's got the Kachikoshi, so the pressure's off. Just fun sumo. Exactly. I'm looking forward to seeing non-pressure Azamaru. See, I want to see if yeah, if it gets him a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, you never know. And he's going to fight. Once again, he's going to fight all these up-and-comers. Oh, he's going to be like, you want to see some suffering? <laughs> <laughs> I got some suffering for ten you. Ten years of suffering. <laughs> That's right. You are going to feel all ten years oh, of gosh. that suffering. No, probably not. He's probably just going to smile his way through. <laughs> but next we have a not so smiley mm. story. Takanosho, Magashir 11 West, down from Magashir 9 East. Six and nine, he is bleeding out. This is so weird. Uh, like, I never thought a year ago that Takanosho would be the guy who, like, we need the tourniquet. We need to turn this around. We're getting desperate. He's too young for this. It's, it's, what happened? I don't know. And you, what's going on? You don't see. You can't see whatever it is because he's not it's wearing a bunch of bandages. He's not getting a surgery unless they're keeping it secret. He looks yeah. the same. Like, like similar to Azumaru, I think even if he does badly, we'll still keep him around. But why would we be talking about keeping him out of jury? Exactly. What that, is going on? That should not be the conversation. No. No, please get better. We're talking to Osho now, like, you got to start. Turn it around, please. Like, now. Like, now. he's on the warning list. No, we shouldn't. He shouldn't be there. No, no. <laughs> it's, it's getting kind of scary. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully he gets a little better. Maybe feeds off of the Takakesho energy, like, a lot. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you would think he would already be, which makes me wonder if there's an injury, but... I don't know. You know. We don't know. It's a big mystery, but what we do know is he's tumbling. Yes, and he needs to right Stop. the ship right Stop. now. <laughs> Just cut it out, man. Next, we have Kageyaki. Magashir 12 East maintains his rank with a 7 and 8. The Banzake committee was favorable, favorable. to him. I feel like they, they saw what we've been seeing. We've seen the improvement. Kageyaki's finally showing an evolution of the game after looking like it was incapable. 
which would, would, would super happy to see that he's being more defensive, more tactical. Also, just sort of the, the, the messy state of this lower area is that there wasn't a lot of shuffling around needed, so some people were able to get some breaks, and Kageaki was one of them. I say well-earned. Uh, unfortunately for him, he is now within striking range of all these new people uh-huh. who are going to look to be making a name for themselves. So if he thought he was already sort of struggling, well, he's going to have a little bit more of a struggle. Kageaki would be the guy you'd want to test yourself against because he's a struggler, yes. but he's also someone who's been around for a while. So if you want to see what level you're at, you're really gunning for him as a new guy. Yeah, you're like, let me let me get let me get him on the ground. And so, so so we got double tests going we got, on. You got double tests. And I, I hope this that Kageaki can sort of live up to the pressure, but it's it's still sumo at the end of the day. Right. Somebody's <laughs> got to win. Someone's, someone's got to win. Lose. Kageaki, hang in there. Speaking of hanging in there, Takeda Fuji, Maegashira 12 West, up for Maegashira 16 East, 8 and 7, a veteran as old as Aoyama and Tamawashi, not mm. quite as old as Tamawashi, but in that group. He's been struggling. He's been falling. This is the first time in a while where he's like put it together again. Yeah. But I don't know that he looked that great. It, he did enough. Um, the the rankings committee respected the veteran status. All that he's done. They gave him a very healthy boost on that 8-7. and seven. Mm-hmm. And they sort of saw he's riding the ship. Um, glad he's not in Jirioa. Just... That would that not be there. right. Nobody would like that. It <laughs> no. would. It would. That's what it looked like we were gonna get. Um, he's got his work cut out for him as well a little bit. But I feel like Takara Fuji can hold his own against some of these people if they don't know how to handle him. Uh, but that was Takara Fuji of six months ago. Yeah. Uh, so it'll be. It'll. It'll be. It'll be a different type of test for him. I'm just relieved to see a little bit of buffer between him and the bottom of the list. Which is why I think they gave him such it a good a little bit. Yeah. Um, that was the veteran privilege. Yes, right there. the veteran privilege. Not out of the woods yet, but we are moving in the correct direction. Yes, which is good. Next, we have Dai Shoho, Maegashira 13 East. Took a jump up from Jurio 6 West, so you got to have a good tournament to you do did. that. 12 and 3 is a good tournament. If certain other people were not in Jurio, 12 and 3 could have won it all. Yeah. So I feel like they recognize that. Dai Shoho hasn't been in the top division since November of 2019. So I was going through my notes trying to find something because I knew he was in the top division before and I wasn't taking notes back then because we didn't have the podcast. So So there's no notes. There's no notes. It's just my faded memory, which is garbage at trying (laughs) to remember anything sumo past like two months ago. Right. Um, Belt guy uh, sort of coming back to take a second crack. Maybe you can tap into that Nisky Kigi energy and really show us off. But he's going to he's yeah, he's going to be joining this surge. He's got to be hungry after being out for so oh, long. long. Four years. Oh, three and a half, but still. It's that's a, a long time. That is a, in sumo? In sumo, that's that forever. That is a huge time he was in Jirio. So we'll have to see if he has like sort of that new energy or new if energy. he's going right back down. I, I don't, know. I don't think he's gonna. I, you, do, you don't 12 and 3. and Well, never mind, Oho. You don't 12 and 3 <laughs> normally uh, and then go right back down. Well, as a veteran. I mean, Oho, maybe we can. Yeah, a little bit of hand waving for Oho, maybe. A yeah, little sure. bit. A little bit. So hopefully Dai Shoho will be a nice little test for the new guys. However, they will have encountered him since he's been in Jurio yeah. for so long. So this is not going to be new to them. No, not as new. But the energy is going to be new. A fresh take. There, are, There is a big difference in crowd size between Jurio and uh, the yep. upper division. Just like even between the last match of the day and Jurio and the first yep. match. So being a returner will help the energy. I feel like he'll adapt to it. And the, you have the double loud Osaka crowd. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's going to be pumped. Next, we have Koto Echo, Maegashira 13 West, also maintains his rank with a 7 and 8. Very favorable from the Bonsake committee, which is interesting considering how inconsistent Koto he, he, Echo is. His struggle has been, at this point, the, the only consistent thing is that he's struggling. Yeah. And they gave him the extra nod. Probably they know he's putting the effort in. He's trying his best. Um, but, yeah, it's like I could I just see... I just see him continuing to struggle. I don't, he, he, you know, Koto Shoho found his way out of the forest, but he's still, Koto Echo is still in there. And it's, it's, it's so weird. Cause like one day it looks like he's had everything together. And then the next day he's got nothing together. Right. And 
there there doesn't seem to be an answer to it. No. It's just like who he is. Yeah. And so we got to compound that with the four new people who are going to just feast on him if he doesn't bring everything he's got. I could see I could Hokuseiho see. and Kotoeko having quite the match. Yeah. Um so like unfortunately for him if he's not if he doesn't bring it, that's four losses from four people who are going to kick him. Now, yeah. on the flip side, if the four people are having some issues adjusting, maybe that's the bump he needs. Right. He gets some nice fresh very, blood to very, fight. May, it's so there's a lot of there's a lot of unstable energy for a Koto Echo. So it's whether he can harness it. Yes. But now we get to get excited. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Kin Bozon. My Gashir 14 East. Up from Jurio 5 East. So... Once again, I, he's on the five, but the you got to do well to get a promotion from five into Double the digit division. Wins. In addition to winning Jurio in November, get you in the top division, everybody. I, I feel like when we say Kim Bozan, it's like he's already on everyone's lips. Yes, people have been talking a, about him, hot, waiting for this moment. Excited. He has been in the top division barely a year. Or in professional sumo for barely a year, and he's already in the top division. I said that backwards. Yes. Well, um, it's it's interesting. He yeah. is the first wrestler from Kazakhstan. He hasn't, like, so on one hand, the hype is real because he's been in sumo so little, so, and he's just, time. And just shot up the ranks. Vaulted. But on the other hand, he's been in so little that you don't know, he's not tested enough in the, yeah. I fe- he, in the tough matches. It, it is the pure pure talent just careening upwards mm-hmm. and it is it is the let's see how high the rocket goes it is because now that he's in the top division it's just different it, everything's different you everything's hit the wall. different i mean just just talk to talk to hoshoryu talk to oho talk to koto show all these new people they hit the wall and then how do you deal with it and so this is this is what's always so fun when you got these new hot prospects because, like, when they hit the top division, we're like, okay, now, now we can talk. Now we can talk. Give, give me your shot. And we've all been waiting for Kim Bozan since he hit and just everybody wants him. Yep. Now they got him. And, you know, it'll be very interesting because, you know, you got the you got the – He's going to be fighting here with some guys he's seen in Jurio. Some new. He's going to be fighting with people like Nishiki Fuji, who, you know, he's already passed his test. And then, you know, depending on what the record is, he might get a taste of some of the higher up guys. A little bit. So this is very exciting time. We finally are getting some of the hot talked about prospects that have the potential to do something really awesome. Kim Bozan, I saw him doing an interview and he was just like, Everybody root for me. Like, he seems <laughs> cool. So it'll be interesting to see if he has aggressive energy because I haven't seen matches with him yet. I've heard about him. I've read about him, but I haven't seen him fight yet. So it should be very, very interesting to see what he's going to do. We're all we're all looking forward to it, and it's, it's up to him to put some people in their place or up to everyone else. To put him in his place. Put, oh. Someone's going to be it's put in their be place. It's going to be so exciting. Ah, be I love it. So next we have Boo Shozan. Magashir 14 West up from Jurio 1 West. Makes sense. 9 and 6. This is the classic. He is the hard worker versus the genius of yep. Kim Bozan and Hokuseiho. He was he was in Jurio for a long time. He may have popped his head out and sort of like the, the guest stars at the very bottom when you have an odd number of people. But he's finally broken through. He's clawed his way up. And what's really interesting about it is that there's like all four of these prospects coming up. They have a different energy to them. So Dai Shoho is down and then struggled his way back up. Kim Bojan and Hokuseho, they're surging. And then we have Bushozan, who is the guy who's just clawed his way, just hard worked his way all the way to the top until it worked. And it's kind of funny and because it's like you work so hard. And it's like now the work touch- just began. Yeah. So after all this, he gets told that this is going to be his toughest test yet. Uh huh. So it's going to be fun to see him. Also a pusher thruster compared to a lot of other people do more belt stuff. So we get some variety in technique. We get some variety in the energy coming in. And I feel like a lot of people aren't looking at shows on. They're all talking about everyone else. So he's got that, even though he's new and they got the spotlight on him, like it's not as bright. And it'll be interesting mix for someone who's been 
you know, working so hard to try to get to the upper division versus these like new hot shots that just skip everything and just win a couple matches and here they are in the upper division. So it'll be a nice little mix of we got some falling veterans, we've got newbies who have overcome, and now newbies that aren't newbies to sumo, yep. but newbies to upper newbies division. To top division. So there's a nice little mix like of variety. chaos and All right. particularly there's a couple there's a couple of tournaments over the past year or so that it's just like a bunch of like a bunch of returners a bunch of veterans came up and you're you, you love kinda, seeing them but you're like i want something you, else. Want, you want the fresh you want the new this is as fresh as it gets yeah this this is gonna be this is something we've all been waiting for for like a couple years yeah. now which speaking of which the one i'm the most excited about is hoku seho my 15 east up from jurio 2 east nine and six miyagi no oyakata's protege is here so we Talking about different feelings, everybody has all these high expectations, but the amount of pressure on Hoku Seisho's massive shoulders, it it's not been since Hoshoryu. It has been this just just a titanic pressure mm-hmm. on him. It's like for somebody like him, it's not just you have to do well. It's like you have to exceed well. Yes. You, there is no, like failure is not an option and he's just now touching it. He could go eight and seven or nine and six and like eh. It's, i know it's just it he's in an impossible situation because uh, if he wins it's just like oh as expected of the protege of the great hakaho and then like if he loses like they'll, they'll pull the camera over to miyagino and like he's got those pursed lips <laughs> and you're like oh man he's gonna get it later he, he's gonna be lifting a tire with enho <laughs> dancing on top of it and this is over <laughs> And Hako yeah. is going to be kicking him. Kicking him. Ah. So, like, so on one hand, he's under this monumental pressure. And so you can't help but feel that it's just going to affect Of course. Him. And and that you can't underestimate. But on the other hand, if we're thinking very optimistically, optimistically. Hoku Seho is a monster. He he's is. So, he's the tallest man in sumo right now. He is being coached by the greatest of all time. He did reach expectations or exceeded expectations by zooming up there. He had a little trouble in Jurio. A little trouble expected, but... But still, like, he's really, like, he's yeah, it, there. It he's... Does, yeah, so, like, for the titanic pressure comes the titanic power. Right, and, and now what's going to win out? Yeah, it's very exciting. That and... in and of itself makes this tournament exciting. Yes, so it, it has been a while since the bottom of the banzuke has been as fired up as the top and the top is still just as crazy as it's been yeah if not crazier well it'd be even crazier if a certain white rope ends mm. up happening but i diverge from that speaking of you know hyped up situations we have oho my 15 west dying down for my 8 west 4 and 11 oh <sighs> This is the opposite story. This is the story we don't want for Hokuseho or no, anybody else. The collapse. Oho is collapsing under the pressure. I don't think it's a skill issue because we saw him. Yeah. yeah. So I, Oho on his game, I'm calling it the Hoshoryu Slayer because he beat mm-hmm. Hoshoryu in those matches. Like when he had that nine and one run, and we're like, oh, he's finally got it. And then it just then he has a four and eleven. Worth noting that. Three of those four wins were in the second week, and that was the part that he said that he got tired out. So the optimism is that he like the fact that you can pull yourself out of the tailspin when you already got double digit losses, when everything's already bleak, means that he's still he's still fighting it. Right. He's he's it, it's something to take out of the collapse. Yes. But this is why those guys train so hard. So hard. When you see the chest lending and they are pushing and pushing and pushing after they just fought like 10 matches until they are on the ground gasping because you need to have that level of endurance to get through 15 days. Mm -hmm. And Oho is just, he's feeling that. And he's coming from a different time period than Taiho. I mean, the time of Taiho was much more aggressive than it is now in terms of the training regiment. So there's... There's just an adjustment period, yeah. and his talent should hopefully win out. Yeah. It's so. Hopefully, the optimism is that he's getting this out of his system. It's just where where uh, Hoshuri was a little bit more like eight and seven, seven and eight. Like the struggle was there, but it was a slow incremental games. He's like he's like hot and cold. Mm-hmm. One day the Bunsen burner's on, he's just flaring up, and then they just turn the Bunsen burner off. So he's he, he's reacting to this pressure differently. Right. So the other side of it is that if he can't, if he buckles down, 
and he falls back down in the jury oak. The hope is that he still can bring himself back up because he's so young, and we can see that there is talent there. Right. He is still very, very young. One of the youngest guys in sumo. But at the same time, he's 23 now. And for perspective, ta- uh, Hakuho was Yokozuna at 21. Takakesha was Ozeki at 22. So to be like the guy that everybody wanted him to be because he's Taiho's grandson, he should have already been to the top by now. My, it, yeah. But with that being said, maybe he's a late bloomer. A late, later bloomer? He could be uh, he could be a Tochi Notion and get your Ozeki at 30. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> as long as you get it, what does it matter, right? It doesn't matter. So Oho also has to figure all this out in this blender in the bottom. But I feel like... It'll be a good test. It'll be a good test. Uh, and maybe you could turn the tables. Maybe we'll get maybe we get the Hoshoryu Slayer back. I would love to see the Hoshoryu Slayer back. And I'd love to see Hoshoryu looking down on everyone like, who wants me next? I want to see oh, Hoshoryu fighting all these guys. <sighs> Give it six months and then he's fighting all these guys. I know. Uh, so, so long as they're up for it. You guys aren't off the hook down there. Oh, yeah. No, they got to put the you work You got to work it. Yep, that's right. Speaking of putting in the work for it, mm. Chiyo Shoma, Maegashir 16 East, down from Maegashir 11 East, 5 and 10. It's not looking good right now. I am. This is. This sucks. This is. This is do or die. But the problem is that, like, he is. You can tell he's fighting his, his butt off. Right. He's time. not phoning it in. He's not phoning. And it's also like he's fighting similarly to when he was doing well. It's almost and like out of his control. It's. it's what the hell? <laughs> right? So I it's uh, I don't see how he can get out of this. Like it's just like be more Chiyo Shoma. It's just like he, he can't be any more Wiley Fox. But at the same time, here comes some new people to knock him down, and he is too far down to get saved. This with I don't I don't want him to go. I don't want this to happen. And all the whatever whatever sumo energy I'm not giving to Takara Fuji or giving to uh, anyone else. Chiyo Shoma is going to get all of it just to keep him around for a little longer. This is that cycle we've seen. We've seen Shoho Zan fall out. We've yeah. seen Nikioi fall out. It's we've too- seen, like, he's much younger than them when these things happen. So. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, if Takara, like, I don't want Takara Fuji to go. I want him to be where he is or a little higher, actually. It would be nice. Uh, but, like, if Takara Fuji, if it all fell down, like, it would suck. But, like, I would be like, okay. Yeah. Okay. But, it- like, for Chiyo Shoma, it's just like, it's too soon. Right, right. Too just, soon. just figure some new Please. thing out. Maybe, maybe we can say Hanka all you want. You yeah, know, well, like he was gonna he, anyway. <laughs> I, know. I don't think. I don't. He's been better about it though. Yeah, it'd be interesting Not to clean, see him but... Hanka Hokuseho. Oh my god. He's here, here I am. Welcome, welcome to the top division, King Bozan. I, eat, eat a Hanka. <laughs> right. Am I, am I like converting to pro Hanka? I don't no, think so. We're, we're desperation. We're just for, yeah. We, this we is want desperation. Shoma to do better. So next, speaking of challenges we have sudagisho magister 16 west down from magister 15 east seven and eight they were a little harder okay, on okay. him okay here okay so we were we were going through this before so we have kageyaki seven and eight keeps his rank right and we have kodo echo seven and eight keeps his rank kodo echo which we we love him and his small man big man sumo but we felt like maybe he would get knocked down sudagisho seven and eight you get down knocked down a whole rung what the hell yeah. Rankings committee, you need to explain this to me. They they have their own way of doing things. I, I am mad. Surugisha half rung, maybe. Don't well, don't dump him a whole <laughs> rung. Come on. I know. On. I mean, it's the difference between going back to Jurio again. You know. So mean. Now, in fairness, Surugisha was sort of a career like saddler of the of Jurio the top division line. So maybe they looked at him and they're like. You don't get the same slack that the people who have been up here a little longer get. Eventually, they won't have any slack either. That's Eventually true. They'll... Yeah, well, I'm still... Uh, I'm still I'm like, <laughs> it peeved me. I felt like Surugisho deserved like a half rung, not a whole rung. Well, um, now he's in an interesting position because he's going to face the new guys. Yep. And they've probably seen him in Jurio. Yeah. I don't know if they faced him or not. Cons- considering that Kim Bozan was barely in there. I'm not so sure. But Hokuseho probably had some time... With Sudagi show. It's going to be a test for both of them, just yeah, like have, Kageyaki. Yeah, so we have said that for Sudagi show, he's a perfect test for the top division because if you can beat him, you belong there. And if you can't, maybe you don't. And mm-hmm. now it's sort of turned around on him. So now Sudagi show has to beat some more people to prove that he belongs there. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Though, to be fair, 
And if he goes down, maybe he'll come back later. <laughs> but I, yeah, ah, come on. I mean, he's he's a pro at this yeah. straddling the fence yeah. situation here. So finally, we have coming up the rear, Magashir 17 East, down from Magashir 15 West, 7 and 8, me, Toryu. He sort of saved himself at the very end by yeah, winning the, the last four the, matches. The, that four match rally saved him because he, he would have been 3 and 8, and then he comes back. I feel like that gesture of sumo spirit saved him. Mm-hmm. If he had gotten double digit losses, I think they would have kept Ichi Nojo in the top division. Yeah. Uh, but they went to me, Toryu, and are like, good enough. Uh, now the problem for Mitorio is that he's still trying to figure this whole top division thing out, and now is probably the worst time to not have that settled down. Mm-hmm. Um, because me- now maybe he's fought like somebody like Daishoho or Bushozan. Maybe he's got an angle on them, but this is this is gonna be a uphill battle for Mitorio. I'm not feeling too optimistic about him. I like him. I want to keep him around, but he's got to pull out a little bit of a miracle. Yeah, he he's. He got a good spot, but I wouldn't get used to it. And when, oh, come on, Mitorio, like, I don't know. Like, you know, you know, when you're watching, like, it's, it's like, it's like high school baseball. It's like, it's like the, the, the people that are like in the, in the upper league and they're fighting like the scrappy yep. public school. And you're just like, come on, public school. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's you not going to happen, just, is you're it? You're just like, well, I mean, maybe they can pull off a miracle. Maybe it'll work. You just, it happens every once in a while. Yeah, you, you know, put some dirt on them varsity bastards. But, you know. it's it's yeah. If we're playing the odds, it's yeah. not looking too not good. Looking too good. So. Which means we got to actually look at Jurio to... Yes. further discuss yes. why so, that might be the case so normally like we just pop our head into jerio and we're like hey look at these people going on but here's the problem is that we have pressure up here and we're also going to have some pressure um, we're gonna have some pressure going on here so look at yeah. these top five look at the top 10 people in jerio they are all looking pretty good we we can say for almost certain Asanayama is probably going to win the whole thing again, and he's going up. Um, I'm not sure about Tohakuryu. Tohaku, well, Tohakuryu, Shonanoumi, Oshoma, uh, and Roga mm. are all are all new to this top ra- top area. So we have to see what's going to so happen. They, there. they they have a chance to prove themselves. They are definitely in pole position. Chiyo no Kuni has been up and down. He is very capable of having a good tournament a good and going and up. And he's up. Tochi no Shin, he, he's not down because of the knees. He's down because of a new injury. A dislocated shoulder. Which means if he can maintain just his normal yep. self, he should be going back up as well. It's a little bit of a question mark for Tochi no Shin. There is a lot of retirement talk. I don't know if that's because people are just wondering because this is a new state for him or if there is something they know that we do not. Mm-hmm. But it's, I yeah. do not expect Tochi Noshin to I retire. I feel like he's here as long as he has a salary. Yes. Uh, but I also, he's never been in this situation. Right. Uh, I feel like he can fight his way out of Jerio, no problem. But it's different. Now, first off, we have this whole lower division blender going on. Yep. And also, it is, it's a new thing. Maybe the shoulders now, it's just an added notch. It's, exactly. There's a lot of mystery about this. But we're feeling like if you had to look at this and say, you know, four people have to go up. Tochi is a pretty safe bet. Yep. Ichi Nojo is a pretty safe bet. Asana Yama is, you're not getting, you're not, nobody's going to take that bet from you. No. You know, and then you, you, then you have like, you, you have your Chiyo no Kuni, you have your Enho. So there's a lot of people at this top half of Jirio that are looking really strong. Right. So let's say they all do great and they beat everybody below them as they should in theory. Well, now anybody who's like teetering, no teetering. There's no room there's no for te- you. You, get a seven, you can't get a seven and eight. No, you can't even get a seven and eight. You're, you're, they're gonna throw you out. And here's here's the problem, right? So all the lower guys are fighting around down there. Well, the upper guys, like they're fighting up top too. Yeah. So there's there's a struggle. There's just so much struggle and chaos going on that everybody's just gotta they gotta win. That that's your goal. Yeah. Just win. You just you just need to get eight wins one way or the other. Yeah, because. Yeah. Even wins, you could have a situation. Let's say everybody in the lower half just does spectacular, and these guys get stuck in Jurio. <sighs> the exception of Asunoyama, he's going up. He's no going up what. no matter what. It'll be it'll be interesting to see what happened there. So yes. the final couple of pieces, we're gonna go all the way to the bottom because we're gonna talk about a couple of people down here. Mm-hmm. So all the way at the bottom, welcome Ochi. Oh boy! Now, if you want to talk about hype, I'm hyped for Ochi. 
So he this is, he has been promoted the fastest if anybody set a new record. Doesn't even have long hair for a top knot yet. Um, being mentored by Miyagi Do, I believe he's twenty one years old. I gotta check he that. Is super young. He's fresh. Two thousand three is twenty. Twenty. Okay. He's twenty. Not even 20. Okay, so Ochi is the kind of guy, when you're looking for the next Hakuho, this is the type of guy you're looking at. A guy who just speeds up the Banzuke, who's got talent and skill, and he doesn't waste any time. Remember, Hakuho was Yokozuna at 21 years old. So this guy is even a little bit below that, but he's the only one in striking distance to be that good. So if you're looking for the next hype man... Big hype. He's the possibility. I'm not yeah. saying it's going to happen, but I would put a lot of bet that be a, it. Be a lot it, it's, of there's eyes. A, there's a lot, there's of, a lot eyes of eyes that should be on, on him. him. And it should be fun. Person number two, the return <laughs> of Tomokaze. Oh, man. So this, this was somebody who we were both big fans of before we started doing the podcast. And he had a terrible, terrible injury. And he has been slogging it ever since. So here is here is now March of 2023 back in Jurio, not the top division where he was before, but Jurio just mm-hmm. barely made it back to salary rank. Look at the struggle. Look at all this struggle goes all the way down to Joni Don after a year of injury. This is now keep in mind he was Mike Shira three. number three. He was three when this happened, and he. Hey, look at outstanding performance he award. Was doing so well. He didn't have a um. He did not have a Maki Koshi in the upper division until the injury. It was it was right here. He finally hit it, and then okay, right yeah, before, right before, because we we were we were talking about it. We're like, when's he gonna stop? Right, he finally gets it at three, and then this was the here he gets it back. Now we get to see how he rebounds, and then he busts his knee open. It's it's kind of like the Ishiura situation where he <sighs> gets his highest rank, and then he gets an injury that is definitely so- career ending. It was so tragic. But for us, this is the gets injured, stakes with it, suffers for year, four years, four years. Oh, and now we're finally, he's seeing the light of day again. He's finally so, getting a salary. Getting a salary. It's all coming back. So for so these this story has happened multiple times. Famously, Taro Fuji, also with Ura. Tochi Noshin. Tochi Noshin. Tomokaze is our injury story. That's right. This is this is our first guy that we put everything into and watched him collapse and is coming back up. Coming and we are up. just rooting for him, rooting, rooting, rooting for him. So we're happy to see that. It'll be, no, both him and everybody else in Jirio, there'll be a little bit of time before they reach when we're talking about him during 42. Mm-hmm. But it's, there's a, it's a very exciting time, this it March is. tournament. It is. So now it's time for our predictions. All right, so we're not gonna pick Takakesho because we both, well, we both want that white rope to happen, but we don't want to pick Takakesho. We don't put the hex on him. Nope. So we won't do it. So it's sort of like with the with the thought that we are giving our we're giving we're giving a, a hope a safe professional distance, but hoping mm-hmm. for Takakesho. We got to pick someone else. So I'm gonna go wild. Okay. Okay. I'm going wild. I'm gonna say. Koto Shoho. Ooh, Koto Shoho. That is wild. That's. I, I'm feeling something from him. I'm feeling uh, this energy. You're thinking he's gonna pick up where he left off and I, just run with it. I think he's got the that's capability. Wild. So that's wild. I'm hoping that's a, that's a good help. So when you said you're picking something crazy, I was afraid you're gonna pick my pick because my pick is crazy because I am picking Shodai. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I, pick, picture this. All right. Whoa. No Ozeki. No expectations, maximum jolly, home crowd in Osaka, mm-hmm. just runs away with it. Nobody's looking at no him. No one's looking. Look at like if you're t- if you're in the top, you're just looking at this. You're 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 fighting over the bloated Sanyaku and who's doing Ozeki. You know if you're if you're talking about lower down, you're talking about these hot prospects. Mm-hmm. You're just gonna you're gonna go right by Shodai. You're just like oh yeah, he's yesterday's news. Can you imagine the sort of like redemption for him like okay so i lost ozeki but i won all right and yeah and then he'll be back in sanyaku and then he'll speak it'll be it'll be hilarious oh man i, want, I, I like this pick i so so i was thinking about dae show because because now that now that he's pushing like i feel like he gets it again he's still he's still one of my old dark horse picks even though he's not a dark horse anymore but okay everyone else remember if 42 people comment 
on this with their pick, somebody is guaranteed to win. So everybody can get together and decide who they want. Come on, we need 42, we 42 comments. 42 comments, each with a different one. Somebody can pick Dae Show for me. Somebody can be brave with Takake Show. Somebody can jump on the grenade and pick Mitoru. By the way, Mitoru is in the underdog role at the lowest possible rank. That's right, and we've seen it happen and like seen it happen before, five times. Everybody's writing them off, including us. <laughs> That's um, right. So just saying, let us know who you think is going to get it. We came, we almost got a correct pick. Yeah, Last time. yeah. Somebody picked Koto Shoho, and that was like out of nowhere. So, so I'm just copying that person now. There you go. And look at how close they were. So come yeah, on, yeah. we are encouraging at least 42 comments of 42. who you're going to pick. But yeah, so just you comment, you look around, you see who's been picked, who's available, and then some. It, this is how you guarantee somebody picks it correct. That's right. But if you don't want to do that, it's we're fine. somebody's got to. Someone's got to get it. Like, just your odds are not as good so once again we'll be back in the second week for some live streams and we'll do our recap show and then perhaps we'll do some more of our extras that we have been talking about um so we're really looking forward to this crazy stormy boss show it'll be great stuff it'll be great stuff and Ah, oh, good to be back. Oh, it is. Right of February, sumo exists again. The sun is out, and I am hyped for new prospects. So, thank you all for listening. Hope you have a great time with sumo, and we will talk to you very soon. See ya.